getting kind of used to living life without you. I gotta tell you, it's better than I ever thought it could. So you are here. I went to your room, but you weren't there. Why are you here all alone? What else do you want me to do? You were busy looking for what we had to go see Henry. I didn't want to distract you. Come on, don't sound like that. You're already sounding like a jealous housewife. You know Henry traveled for a long time, and I miss him. See me see Kesu. What did I say now? Maybe you were looking for what to wear. Oh yeah, go and continue. Why not come and help me search? I'm contemplating on what to wear. I want to look good. You people should continue oppressing me because I don't have a man now. Now that Henry is back, I know I won't see your brake lights again in this house. You people should continue oppressing me because I don't have a man now. Now that Henry is back, I know I won't see your brake lights again in this house. <laughs> Don't tell me this is why you are worried. Give this guy some break. Stop suffocating him with your presence. Why are you so jealous? Have you forgotten I haven't seen him in two months? Well, that is because he traveled. Now that he is back, allow him to rest more. Now you sabi, come inside and join me search for what to wear, Joe. Stop with the jealousy. Now you sabi, you better go and do it yourself. This is what you are saying, Abby. When I go there, I won't come back till next week. We are no vex. I was just joking. But it could be I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't wanna go back and forth when I know. My son, finally you decided to pick my call. Good afternoon, mom. I'm so sorry about that. I was so busy I couldn't pick up. I had it in mind to call back after everything. It's okay. So how are you doing? And how is Canada? It's fine. How is dad? I haven't heard from him since two days ago. I hope he is fine. Yes, he is fine. I will inform him you picked up. Okay, mom. Please, I would like to go back to what I was doing. Don't worry. I'll call you back as soon as I'm done. Alright, my son. Please take good care of yourself. What is happening now? I've been waiting for you to come give me your own share of the money. Shibi, I told you to give me some time. Let me think of a way. Think of what way? I'm not even asking for much. I just need a 10,000 naira to add to mine so we can buy foodstuffs in the house. And where do you want me to get this from? By now, you should know I don't have it. So what should we do now? For the past few days now, I have been providing for our feeding without you contributing a dime. You know I don't have. When I do, I usually contribute as well. I will not agree this time around. I thought you were paid last week. How come you were broke today? And how many days do you think 50,000 naira can last? My dear, 50,000 naira is a very little money that can barely last for two days. Fine. If you don't have 10,000 naira to contribute, just bring 5,000 naira. I will add to the rest. Lucy, as I am sitting down here, eh, I don't have a dime. I used my last card to buy those shoes in my room. How much did you buy that shoe? I bought it for 30,000 naira. You did what? How could you buy a pair of shoes 30,000 naira when you know we are managing? So what about the remaining 20,000 naira? I used it to buy two vintage shirts in my closet. I swear, Annabelle, you will stay hungry till you are paid next month. Nonsense. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush back into my six I know what it means Welcome, honey. Thank you, dear. Today was such a long day. I'm so happy to be home after a long day of work. How was work today? It was a bit stressful. I was waiting for you to bring lunch to my office today, but you didn't show up. But I gave you your lunch when you left in the morning. Don't tell me you finished everything immediately you arrived. Well, I didn't, but I felt like seeing you. I thought you would surprise me like the way you always do. If you really wanted to see me, you should have called me to come over. You know I can never say no to you. Calling you to come over is a different thing from you coming over without my knowledge. Please make sure you stop by tomorrow. Your presence makes the job a lot easier. I will do that, honey. I cooked something delicious for you. That is why I'm always eager to go home. I couldn't have asked for a better wife and a better cook. I called our son earlier on. He sent his regards and promised to call back. Hopefully, he will call now that you are back. You know how Felix behaves. He might not remember to call back. I'll call him tomorrow morning. Okay, go and change up. Let me set the table. Okay, my love. 
got both of my feet on Oh my love, I missed you so much honey I missed you so much too dear, I couldn't wait to come home and see you again How was your trip? I thought you would call me to come pick you up at the airport It was of no need, after you don't have a car By the way, you look so beautiful, what has Bella been feeding you with? Bella K, that one that is angry about your coming back And why is that? Did I offend her before travelling? Don't mind her dear, she was just angry that all my time will be spent here and I will really be at home. Let her relax you. After all, she won't be the one to marry you. Seriously, you look beautiful. Thank you honey. You're not looking bad too. You left for two months but it already feels like you left for many years. That is how it is when two people are in love. I bought so many things for you. Really? Oh, you never cease to amaze me. You always buy me things whenever you travel. That is because you are my one and only. I will continue to pamper you for as long as my love remains with you. That sounds sweet. Can we go check them out? Alright dear, let's go. Babe, what's up now? How do I look? I look good, right? Annabelle, this one you are all dressed up. Where are you heading to this early morning? Answer me first. How is this outfit? Is it okay or I should go and change it? Your outfit is okay. Just surprised that you are even thinking of going out when it's barely 8 in the morning. Do I have to wait till when it's 12 in the afternoon before I go out? 8 is not too early now. I mean, I woke you up barely an hour ago to help me with house chores, but you complained of headache. But here you are all dressed and ready to go out. You know Hede cannot stop me from going to check out the new shoes Sister Blessing bought from Dubai. Wait, you are going to buy shoes? Yes now, you should see the one she sent to me on WhatsApp. Babe, that shoe is fire. I have to hurry there so someone else doesn't pay before me. Chai God. Annabelle, who do you this kind thing? I purposely refused to give you the food I cooked yesterday. If that will bring back your sense. But obviously, I haven't even started. Instead of you to use the money for something more important, you want to buy shoes. You have dozens of them, yet you don't wear them. Please, I am running late. I have to go now. Festi of life. So he finally allowed you to come back home after staying there for two days, Abby? Jealousy. You would still do the same thing if you were in my shoes. Henry is just too nice, Abby. But it wouldn't have taken anything from your body to at least call to inform me you wouldn't be coming back. Why are you still complaining? Should be I'm here now. If I leave this house like that for two days without informing you, I hope you will be happy. No vex. Don't worry, I'll make it up to you this evening. I'll take you out for a treat. I beg no they rhyme me. This is not the first you promised that you would take me out. At the end of the day, you will change the narrative. <laughs> you know that can only happen if I don't have enough money. But babe, relax. I am loaded. I know now. That is why you were sad when Henry traveled because you couldn't get much money from him. Exactly. Now that my baby is back, I won't lack anything. So get ready. We will go have fun tonight. I can't wait. Sweetheart, good morning. Sorry, I was in the kitchen. I didn't hear when you woke up. It's okay, honey. Are you done with what we are doing? Yes, I am done. And breakfast is ready. I almost forgot. Happy anniversary to us, my love. Happy anniversary to us. I thought you forgot about it since you never mentioned it. I would never forget such an important day. It's been 28 years of being together. It's a pity that I didn't get you a gift. You have always been giving me gifts on our previous anniversaries. So I totally understand if you couldn't get me one. I am so happy we have gone this far. I want to take you to somewhere this morning and that will be my gift for you. Take me to where? Just go and change up. Let's go. Trust me, you like the place. I want to take you out for a treat. Okay, honey. Let me quickly put things in order. I will join you soon. Please don't take too long. You can start having breakfast. I will join you when I'm done. You know I can't have breakfast without you. And we won't have breakfast here. Okay, sir. I'll be back soon. Why are you back so early? I wasn't expecting you anytime soon. Maybe on the evening. You want to pretend like you're not happy I came back. Just look at your happy face. See me see Kesu. I am happy that what happened you are not serious at all. Where is the shoes you went to buy? 
Oh, my babe, I did vex. As I am sitting here, eh, I am seriously boiling inside me. What happened? Did Sister Blessing offend you? Can you imagine what that Sister Blessing did? When she sends the pictures of those shoes to me, she told me the prices were 10,000 naira. But when I went there, she said her last price is 15,000 naira. So Annabelle, you had 10,000 naira in this house. I thought you told me you were broke completely. Yes, now. I had just 10,000 naira. You have just 10,000 naira. You want to use all the money in buying a pair of shoes. As I am talking to you, I made half payment to her. I gave her the thin key. When I have the remaining five, I will give it to her and collect my new shoes. This is unbelievable. Please, can you borrow me 5,000 naira? I will pay you when I have money. I pity your life, Annabelle, because the hunger that will wire you in this house, eh, you will start saving money by force. This is such a wonderful place you brought me to. I didn't know you still remember this place. And why won't I remember here? This was where I first met you. I will never forget this place no matter what happens. That is so sweet, my love. We are grown ups now, but you still make me feel like a little child. Can you remember the first promise I first made you when I proposed to you? Um, I don't think I can remember. You said so many sweet things to me and you made so many promises. One of the promises I made was that I will always love and cherish you and I will never get tired of making you feel like a young girl in love, no matter our age. Oh right, I totally forgot about it and so far you have treated me like one. I don't know how life would have been without you. Life would still be perfect for you because you are perfect. Mm, stop making me blush. In our 28 years of marriage, I still count you twice whenever I count my blessings. You haven't changed, Lawrence. You always know the right things to say to take on my fancy. I'm saying the truth, honey. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. Happy anniversary, my love. Happy anniversary, honey. Our son called earlier on. He said he sent us a gift to celebrate our anniversary, but the gift will arrive in three days' time. God did not only join us together, but he gave us a wonderful and thoughtful man as a son. Yes, baby. It's up. We still have many other places to go. I will spoil you silly today. <laughs> I know what happens when you decide to spoil me. Honey, is everything okay? You got me scared when you called. Welcome, my love. Please sit down. You have to talk. Or should I say, I have something to tell you. I thought you told me we were critically ill. So you speak the sick voice. I wanted you to come very fast, and that was the only way to get you here, especially when Bella was in the house with you. Yeah, right. But she was also worried. In fact, she was the one that worried me to come over. So it worked. She does not entirely hate me. She doesn't hate you. She only hates the fact that I come stay with you for days when we are not married. She's totally against it. And that is why I told you to come here. What is wrong, honey? Rita, we have been together for a long time now, and we are not getting any younger. I don't have to use forever to know the kind of woman I want. Where are you driving to? I want to marry you, Rita. You are everything I want, and you make me so happy. I don't see any point why we are still in a relationship at this age. Are you serious about this, Henry, or are you just pulling my legs? Even though I have never been serious in my life, but this particular one is not a joke. She be know the knock person house before you come in. Knock your door, say waiting happen. And why are you still sitting here? Aren't we going to where we wanted to go? What are you talking about? Do we have plans today? Are you serious? You want to tell me you forgot about our outing this evening? Oh, you mean going out to have some drinks? Sorry, I totally forgot about it. But you should have called to inform me now. What is really going on, Dominic? Don't tell me you are still thinking about that gold digger. What do you want me to do, bro? I'm still in love with that girl, and I can't concentrate on something else anymore. I keep thinking about her. After everything she did to you, I'm surprised you even remember someone like that. She is supposed to be invisible to you. I have tried so many times, but none is working out. I feel like I'm losing my mind. You feel that way because you don't want to give yourself a chance to be happy. I am sure you have been sitting here since morning thinking about her. You really don't understand how I feel. I understand, bro. At one point of our time, we must experience heartbreak, either from love or otherwise. But you try to cheer up yourself. I don't know what to do. I really want to forget her. Sometimes, I am tempted to pick up my phone and call her. Don't even try such nonsense. Get up, let's have fun and forget our sorrows.
spell love. I'm happy you're home. I have some news for you. Something that will make you very delighted. What happened? Are you not supposed to be crying? Maybe you said Henry was very sick. Or is he okay now? Don't mind that one, Jerry. There was nothing wrong with him. And I left him in good health. It was only a trick to get me there. I see. He is not a gentleman at all. He had to make you panic and worry just because he wanted you to go over to his house. That was so selfish of him. How about now, Bella? Must you always be harsh when it comes to him? At least speak nice of him for once. No, now. Nah. What he did was uncalled for. I don't hate him, but he shouldn't have put that stunt to scare you. Well, he apologized. And that is why the way. That is not even the news on ground. Guess what? What is it? You know I can't guess. Henry proposed to me. You should have listened to all the sweet things he said about me. Oh my god, Bella. I still feel butterflies in my stomach. Henry proposed to you? Wow, finally. After waiting for so long. I'm so happy, Bella. I haven't been this happy in such a long time. And what did you say to him? Well, I don't even need to ask. After all, you can't survive without him in your life. Now you Sabine, for your information, I said yes to him immediately. So, we'll begin our marriage plans immediately. You're all better. I am happy, no doubt. But that doesn't mean you should pack your things and go live with him. I knew this is how it will end. Babe, you called me. You know I was having my CSR since. I couldn't sleep. You should have waited till I wake up. So you were comfortably sleeping, Abby. Sometimes I wonder if truly we are friends. How do you mean? Where is that coming from? You were comfortably sleeping, Lucy. You know I haven't eaten anything since morning, but you don't care and you even went to your room to sleep. Are you kidding me right now? Don't tell me this is the reason why you woke me up from my nap. Yes, now. I am very hungry. As I am talking to you now, I feel like my intestines will cut out from my stomach and down to the floor. And do I look like I care? Annabelle, if your liver and kidney likes, let it also cut to the floor too. Chai Lucy, that is such a wicked thing to say. I thought you said you love me and I am like a sister to you. I am not denying the fact that I love my best friend. But you see that food in the kitchen. If I go in and realize you ate a little portion from it, I will make sure you vomit it out. Nobody loves me in this world. I am just alone. I thought you care about me. You should have thought about food when you gave Sister Blessing all the money you had as part payment for those shoes you went to buy. I thought I would have money today. Please now, I am very hungry. Help me, sister. Just be thankful I have a soft heart. You know I can't watch you die of hunger. Go in and get something to eat. Ah, you know I love you, right? I will see you when I'm done eating. Hi, honey. Good evening, my queen. How was your day today? It was lonely as usual. You know I am the only one in this house and it gets really hard sometimes. Sorry about that, my love. Now, this is the reason I've been persuading you to take a maid. The payment is not the problem. We are rich enough. Lawrence, it is not about the money. I have heard so many stories how the master would cheat on his wife with the maid. Ah, Brenda, where did you hear that one from? You know I would never do that to you. The story is everywhere, Lawrence, and I will never take such risks. It is better I do everything myself to save my family from unnecessary separation. Is that really what you think of me? Brenda, I love you so much, and cheating on you has never been on my mind. I trust you, my husband, but it is better to take precautions. How about a male housekeeper? At least someone to keep the house busy and lively. No need, dear. Don't worry yourself about me. How was work today? It was fine, dear. Let me go in and freshen up. I'm tired already. Hi honey. My love, how far now? You refuse picking my call since morning. Sorry Derry, I had a lot of things to fix at home. At least I called back when I was less busy. I am so happy you are here. I missed you so much. You know how it is when I don't see you in a day. I know dear, I missed you too. You don't have to worry yourself. Very soon we will live together and you will see me every day. I know my love, I can't wait. Making you my wife has always been my dream ever since I met you. Have you had something to eat yet? Not yet, dear. But now that you are here, I am no longer hungry. Your beauty alone makes everything bothering me to disappear. You and this your sweet mouth, eh? If I didn't know you well, I would start blushing now. I am serious. You have no idea how much I love you. How about our wedding? Have you found a wedding planner yet? Not yet. I'm still checking. I'm sure I'll find a very talented wedding planner. That's right. Please make sure he or she is very talented because I don't need anything that will ruin our big day.
Don't worry about it there. I will inform you when I find one. But for now, I have to go in and prepare something for you to eat. Don't worry yourself. I can fix it myself. No, I won't let you. I'm your fiancé, so I have to stand out to take care of you. Okay, ma. I'll see you soon. Babe Alpha, she be I told you to see me in my room, but you are still sitting here. Annabelle, please, I can't stand up. Whatever it is you want to discuss with me, go ahead, I'm all ears. You made me wait in my room for nothing, but anyway, I need a favor from you. I have no favor to give you. Papa, wait first now. You could not even ask what kind of favor I need from you. Do I need to ask? You and I know that the only thing that bothers you in this life is money. So please, I don't have money to give you. That is too harsh now. You know I have a lot of bills to settle. If I need money urgently, then it is not my fault. That is none of my business, Sha. What I'm saying is that I don't have money. The little money I have is for management, although my salary is paid. Chai Lucy, don't be wicked. We are like sisters and we should have each other's backs. I have been having your back from day one and now I'm getting tired already because money is the only issue you have in this whole wild world. You don't have money to give me, Abby. I don't have money, Annabelle. Try and understand. No problem. Babe, our wedding date is already fixed, but we haven't found a good wedding planner yet. What do you need a wedding planner for? Besides, there are a thousand and one wedding planners out there. What kind of wedding planner do you need? Did you just ask me what I need a wedding planner for? If I don't search for one, who will plan my wedding and make it colorful? We can equally do this ourselves and share the money equally when Henry pays. Are you being serious right now? Yes, now. You can tell him you found a wedding planner and she demanded for 1 million naira. If you get the money from him, we will divide it equally. <laughs> Bella, sorry, but you are making this deal with the wrong person. You know I would never lie to Henry. He will soon be my husband. Make a hair word, Joe, as if you will know what our plan is. What I want from you now is to put your ears down and help me get a very talented wedding planner. I will try. Are you serious, Dominic? So because of one useless girl broke your heart, you decided to take it out on other innocent girls? There is no innocent girl on earth, Richard. All girls are the same. They are all heartbreakers. I'm surprised at you, Dominic. What happened to the positive things you used to say about life? You once said, when a girl breaks your heart, you will love the next person unconditionally. That was when I wasn't heartbroken. I didn't know this is how it feels to be heartbroken. It will be difficult to love the next person. I understand, but I am sure that girl that approached us earlier today meant well. You shouldn't have spoken to her that way. Annabelle, you are here. Why are you yelling my name like that? What is the problem again this early morning? I'm going to ask you this calmly and make sure you tell me the truth. What is the problem, Lucy? Why are you disturbing my precious peace this morning? I kept 10 million naira in my wardrobe two days ago. I went to take it out this morning only to realize the money is missing. Okay, so how does this concern me? Am I your wardrobe or do I look like the 10 million naira? I'm losing my patience, Annabelle. Where is the 10 million naira I kept in my wardrobe? When you kept the money, did you see me there? Wait, I hope you're not trying to accuse me of stealing your money. Then, where is the money? How come the money suddenly disappeared when it is just the both of us in this house? Go in and have a thorough check in the wardrobe. I haven't touched 10,000 naira in the last couple of days. I will go in and check my wardrobe again. Where I find my money. <laughs> no, come back. Come back and ask me for the money. Nonsense. When I asked you for money yesterday, maybe you told me you don't have money. Your money has entered voicemail. So have you been able to find a wedding planner? You know our wedding is at the corner. Don't worry about it, honey. I already found one. And we are scheduled to meet tomorrow to talk about the kind of wedding we want. Alright, dear. Please don't hesitate to tell me the amount of money she needs after the meeting. Okay, dear. Um, this I forget. We have to go to the hospital tomorrow for checkup. You know it's necessary since we will be getting married. Yes, it's very necessary. I wanted to bring up the idea, but I wasn't sure how you would react. Come on, dear. It is very important to go for checkup before marriage. So let's go to the hospital tomorrow. I don't have a problem with it at all. We can go there tomorrow evening because the meeting will be held tomorrow morning. Alright my love, I know that making you my wife is the best decision ever. It seems the days are slow. <laughs> I know right. I love you Henry and I promise never to make you regret marrying me.
Hi, honey. Welcome there. What happened? You closed earlier than usual today. I decided to come stay with my wife for a while. You have been complaining of being lonely, so I'm here to take that loneliness away. Oh, that is so thoughtful of you. I already made lunch. I would have been in your office the next hour if you weren't here. You know I love it whenever you come see me in my office. If I had the chance, I would have waited till evening. <laughs> Don't worry. I will definitely come and see you tomorrow. I have a surprise for you, my love, and I pray you like it. What kind of surprise? You have surprised me too much, Lawrence. Ever since we got married, it seems that it is your favorite thing to do. No, dear. My favorite thing is seeing you happy. It makes me so happy and fulfilled. So what kind of surprise is it? I got you a brand new car. I noticed the one I got for you three years ago is getting old, so I decided to replace it with a new one. You got me a car? Oh, thank you so much, my Prince Charming. Thank you so much. You don't have to thank me, baby. I'll do anything to see you smile. What should I do to repay back all these things you have been doing for me? You don't have to repay back anything. Seeing you alone makes me happy. Let's go see your new car. I'm leaving. I'll see you later in the evening when I return. When you return from where? When I came to check on you a few minutes ago, you were still sleeping. Henry's call woke me up. Have you forgotten I told you you'd be going to the hospital today for checkup? Oh, yes. That's right. So what about the wedding planner? I thought you postponed the meeting till this evening. Don't mind that woman, Jerry. I will not do any business with her again. She's not serious-minded. But she called to apologize and then shifted it to this evening. You know you barely have time. So you need a wedding planner to start the preparations. I know. Because I need a wedding planner urgently. Doesn't mean I will tolerate any nonsense from her. She waited until I go to our venue before she called to inform me she wouldn't be there. Then you have to start searching for a new one. That is not a problem. I will see you when I return. Henry is waiting for me. I have to go. Alright dear. I will let you know that update. Annabelle, what are those things I saw in your bedroom? See me see Keso. You saw something in the bedroom. Instead of you to confirm it there, you came out to ask what they are. Because I saw it in your bedroom. Where did you get the money to buy new pairs of shoes? Oh, you're talking about my new pairs of shoes? Well, I got it from Auntie Blessing. And guess what? She will go to the market soon. And that means new designer shoes will be on board. I also saw a vintage t-shirt in your wardrobe. I got it from her too. My dear, she has so many beautiful vintage shirts. If I was with money air, I would have packed everything. Annabelle, where did you get the money from to buy new shoes and clothes? Did you just ask an adult where she got her money from? So Annabelle, you stole my 10,000 naira. How could you do this to me? You know how hard I work to earn my money. I am not in for this nonsense today. Maybe I am not also working hard for my money. Return back my 10,000 naira. In your dreams, your money has entered voicemail. Baby, why is your mood like this? Ever since we got our results from the hospital, you've been moody. I'm fine, Rita. I'm just tired and I want to be left alone. But this is not our plan now. We planned on going out to have fun when we return from the hospital. Are you trying to tell me you don't know what was getting on the test results? Of course. I know what was written there. What I don't understand is your mood. I am clean and clear from any disease. Same goes to you. I know. I'm talking about our genotype. You are AS and I am AS too. That should be a thing of concern. That is not a thing of concern to me. What matters is that I am not infected with any kind of sickness or disease. And same goes to you. We are clean. Rita, just go home and rest. I need some rest too. We will talk about this tomorrow. I will not allow you to have any rest until you tell me what wrong it is if I am AS and you are AS. That is why I'm telling you to go home. Go home and think about it. Research about it. So when we meet again, we will know what our decision will be. Well, you can go have some rest since you insist. I have to look for another competent wedding planner this evening. Alpha. What is the problem? Your face doesn't look good. Is Henry okay? Henry is fine. We got to the hospital like we planned and the doctor conducted a general test on us. Oh, okay. I am sure everything is fine with the both of you, especially you, since you go for checkup every three months. Exactly. I am free from everything terrible, but I don't understand why my husband was finding his face all through our journey back home. Did you just refer to him as your husband? What is the difference? We will be married very soon, so it's better if I start using the name. So, did he tell you why his mood changed? We checked our genotype, so the doctor confirmed that my genotype is AS, and his genotype is also AS. 
Ah, that is trouble, Rita. That doesn't sound good at all. You have to call off that wedding. Welcome, Moni. Thank you, Dee. I'm sorry for coming home late today. I had a lot of work in my office. It's okay, Dee. After all, you already called to tell me you will be back home late. Thanks for your understanding. It doesn't happen all the time. So when it happens, I know it is very serious. Besides, I called your secretary and she confirmed you were at the office. So what is in for dinner? I cooked jollof rice with fried plantain. Go in and freshen up while I set the table. Don't bother, honey. I want us to eat out today. It's been a while we went out together. But you just got back and you'll be very tired. We can go out tomorrow. Tomorrow is my day off. I want to take you out for shopping and spend all the day with you. Tomorrow will be much better. We can eat out for shopping. But for now, you have to go and wait till I call you to come out for dinner. Yes, mommy. Okay, get up and move. Trust me, the food is very delicious and I'm sure you'll be thrilled. I know, honey. Your cooking skills is the best and I always look forward to coming home to eat your delicious meal. Thank you, honey. I'll be inside. Baby, you called me here, but since I came here, you haven't said a word to me. Mm, welcome, dear. Sincerely speaking, I am speechless. I really do not know how to say it. You're getting me scared and worried at the same time. Have I done something wrong? Of course not, my dear. You have not done anything wrong. This is not just about you. It's about us. What about us? Is it still about that general type thing? Yes, it is. Did you think about it like I suggested? There was absolutely nothing to think about. I tried, but my mind kept taking me to how our wedding day would be like. There will be no wedding day. I want to call off the wedding. What? You, you want to do what? Call off which wedding? Is it the same wedding we've been planning all along? This is for our own good, Rita. We have to call off the wedding to avoid giving ourselves unnecessary stress. I thought you said you love me, Harry. Yes, I love you very much, Rita. But this is for our own good. I won't let us involve ourselves in what we will not be able to get out from. What nonsense are you saying? We cannot call off the wedding just because of our general type. It is very necessary, Rita. We are not compatible. We will end up giving birth to a sick baby. And we shouldn't bring children to this world to suffer just because we love each other so much. Babe, what happened? You look like you have seen a ghost. What I heard today is worse than seeing a ghost. What did you hear? I thought you went to see Henry. What did he say to you? <laughs> he just wished the ground would open and swallow me. Henry called off the wedding. Henry did what? But why? What did you do to offend him? I thought you both were madly in love. I thought so too, Bella. I am still in shock that Henry would call off the wedding just because of a mere genotype. Oh wow, so this is about the genotype. You know, I already forgot about it. Wipe your tears, Rita. I totally understand why he did what he did. So you're supporting him? I am not supporting him. In fact, I am supporting him. I guess you don't know how serious it is if you guys get married. I don't care, Bella. I don't care. I love him so much and I want to marry him. I don't care about any damn genotype. You have to care about it, Rita. This love that is shocking you now would definitely fade away when you start running helter skelter for your sick child. Must we have a child? Can't we adopt one and move on? You can't say such a thing to an African man. He would definitely need a child. I will not let him go. We already fixed our wedding date. What will I tell all the people I invited? It doesn't matter. They will not come for you when the problem starts. You have to do the right thing. What was the meaning of that, Richard? I thought you told me we were only going out for some glass of drinks. Yes, of course. Did we not go out for some glasses of drink? I am very angry with you. Why set me up with those girls? Did I tell you they are my problem? Relax, Dominic. You don't have to be so angry about it. I was only trying to help out. I don't need your help. Didn't I tell you to stop hooking me up with girls? I'm not interested in any relationship now. I'm sorry about that, but you have to loosen up, Dominic. This is not funny anymore. You have been single for a long time now. And we insisted that one cannot be single and happy. I don't need a woman to be happy. Okay then, since you don't need my help, I will keep my help to myself. Please do. When it is time for me to get married, I know where to get a wife. As for all these slay queens, I will not let them deceive me anymore. Oh, so marriage is on your mind, Abby? Wow. I thought you would be single forever. Don't be silly. In as much as I'm not ready for a relationship now, I will definitely get married when I'm ready. Madam, where are you going to all dressed up?
What are you still doing here in the house by this time? Aren't you going to work today? No, today is my off day. What about you? You usually leave for work before 8 a.m., but this is past 10. I won't go to work today. In fact, I resigned yesterday. I won't be working for them anymore. Why not? Did you commit an offense that warrants you to run away? What offense could I possibly commit? I don't just want to work for them anymore. I don't believe you, Annabelle. You can't just resign from your workplace like that. Maybe you stole the company's fund. It's not your fault, Sha. I can be anything but never a thief. You are never a thief, but my 10,000 naira is still missing till today. Go and sell that to the birds. Come on, you know we are sisters and whatever belongs to you belongs to me too. You better move on from that money. Next time, steal my money again and I will deal with you. Where are you going to? I am going out for job hunting. I left my job because they are not paying well. I am no longer satisfied with the mega salary they are paying. So you are going out to look for a job? Yes, I am. I need somewhere bigger and better. I will submit my CV wherever big company I see. Wish me good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Rita, what's going on? I have been calling you with no response from you. Bella, please. I want to be left alone. Just go and come back later. I don't feel like talking to anyone. You have been indoor ever since Henry called off the wedding. I know how you feel. But you have to understand that he is doing what is best for the both of you. You don't understand how I feel right now. Because if you do, you won't be making it sound like it's easy to let go. I understand everything you are going through. But don't be blinded by love. When the main problem comes, this love would fade from your eyes. <laughs> I just want to die. God forbid, you will not die. I am here for you. You can't keep torturing yourself like this. I've been calling Harry, but he refused to pick my call. I can't lose him. I've never loved a man the way I loved Harry. I am done cooking. Please come, let's go and eat. I'm not hungry. No, Rita. That was what you said since last night. You can't starve yourself because of this. You need food to be strong. Please, let's go and eat. <laughs> Harry is the one I want. I no food. Please, let's go and eat. We'll find a solution. Go, I will join you later. Please, don't be long. You look tired. My dear, it wasn't easy at all. I didn't know job hunting could be this hectic. You know I got my previous job from a close friend of mine. Normally, Annabelle, you are lazy. In fact, you are very lazy. Come on to submit your CV. You are distressed. Look at this one now. You think it is that easy, especially now that jobs are scarce. Quit your job and come face what I am facing. God forbid, I am not as unreasonable as you. You had a job that paid you bills, but you decide to quit without having a plan B. It is better to take a step than keep hoping. I submitted my CV in three companies. I am sure one of them will call me. Don't be surprised, you might be called after three years or more. Is that your prayer for me? This one is not about prayer. This is when most of them have vacancy. But this period of the year, so many of the positions have been taken already. Stop making me lose hope now. You should be motivating me. I am not a motivational speaker. I say it the way it is. Annabelle, you don't have sense. You are at the verge of being jobless. Don't worry. I will shock you. I will get a better job with a very good pay. My son, how are you doing? Don't worry yourself, my dear. Everything is fine. Yesterday was your dad's day off, so he spent all the day with me. Exactly. He said he didn't need any disturbance. We did a lot of things. We even went for shopping. I feel so happy right now, my son. He got me a car a few days ago. I wish we were here to celebrate this wonderful family. It's okay, my son. I totally understand. We will be here waiting for your return whenever you want to. It's just that we miss you so much. Yes, we did. Thank you very much. Okay, son. Have a nice day and take good care of yourself. You are here. I have a piece of good news for you. Guess what? What is it? Have anyone agreed to dash your money? 
You're not serious. So in this life, money is the only problem I have, Abby. Obviously, now. You and I know the only problem you have in this world is money. But the way you always go about this money issue, you make it look like you don't love money. Show me anyone that doesn't love money. You know we can't survive without money. My dear, I love money, but not as much as you do. I am contented with the little I have, but you can't do anything at all to have more money. And that is the good news I have for you. Maybe I told you it won't take long before I get a job in another company. Wait, they called you. Yes, so I just finished speaking with the manager. She told me to be at the office 8 a.m. tomorrow morning for an interview in the CEO's office. Wow, that's a great news, dear. Congratulations, indeed, your bold step paid off. You can say that again. But you haven't been employed yet now. They only called you for an interview, not for employment. Babe, that is the last stage of it. After the interview, I will be employed right away. You know, because I am very brilliant. Is that confident for me? I love your confidence, Joe. Go and make more money so you will stop stealing mine. No be your fault, Sha. Now we come out to come gossip. Wait now. We haven't finished our conversation. Rita, I am not surprised by your visit at all. But you should have at least called me before coming. Why would I call before coming? In our long period of being in a relationship, I never called to take your permission before coming. My dear, that was then. We are no longer together. As friends, you should always try to call before coming. You seem to be very comfortable about the fact we are no longer in a relationship. Maybe you never loved me like I thought. Only God knows what I feel for you. Up till now, I still love you very deeply. And this is also hard for me. But we don't have a choice. We have a choice, Henry. Is it really compulsory for us to have children when we get married? And what will be the joy of our marriage? Everyone gets married to start a family. And what is family without having children? We can adopt as many as we want, Henry. We can't just give up on each other like that. No, Rita. I am an elderly man and I am capable of having children. Why will I adopt when I can bring forth my own blood? <laughs> it's hard to let go of you, Henry. I've gotten so used to you. I love you so much. I love you so much too, Rita, but we have to move on. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Who are you and how may I help you? I came here to have a meeting with one of my clients. Ever since I arrived here, I noticed you sitting here and crying all alone. It's been hours already and you are still sitting here. Is everything okay? Everything is okay. Please, I want to be left alone. A beautiful girl like you shouldn't sit on the road crying her eyes out. Talk to me about it. I can be of help. Are you having money problems? My fiance called off our wedding. We were supposed to get married in three months, but he called off the wedding. What? Why? Because of our general type. If we get married and start bearing children, it will cause us big problems. Yeah, I'm so sorry to hear that. Where do you live? I can take you home. It is not safe for you to be here. I don't want to go. I want to stay here. No, dear. Please, let me take you home. Whatever you are feeling now, we feel it will soon. You should also try to see the positive side of this. There is no positive side. My heart is broken into pieces. I don't even know what to do anymore. I tried begging him, but he's adamant in his decision. Everything will be fine soon, trust me. Let me take you home, please. Thank you very much. Good morning, sir. Yes, good morning to you too. Are you Miss Annabelle Johnson? Yes, sir, I am. The manager directed me to come to your office for the interview this morning. She told me about it. We are quite early. The interview was supposed to start by 8 a.m. It is barely 8 and we are already here. I don't like going late to work and interviews. I keep track of time and I even go ahead of the agreed time. That's good. Please have a seat. Thank you, sir. Well, we have a vacancy in this company and over 20 people submitted their CVs. Wow, that's much. So I took them home and inspected them thoroughly. I must confess, Miss Anamel Johnson, you are very brilliant with your level of education. Thank you very much, sir. 
I personally told the manager to contact you. There will be no need for the interview. Really? Yes, my dear. And you are quite very beautiful. Thank you, sir. I will tell my secretary to guide you on the things you have to do in the company. Okay, sir. She will teach you on how to go about it and show you around here. Feel free to ask her whatever question you want. Thank you, sir. You can start work today. Go back to the manager. I will call to inform her to show you to your office. Okay, sir. Wow, I'm so mesmerized by your beauty. I will not let this one pass me by. She's too beautiful. Thank you very much, Dominic, for bringing me home. I had no idea we still had good Samaritans in this country. Oh, come on. Stop flattering me. I couldn't just leave you alone in such mood. I'm glad you're feeling better now. All thanks to you. You made me laugh so hard on our way coming here. Don't mention it. Please have a seat while I bring you something to drink. No, please don't bother. I didn't come to stay long. I just wanted to make sure you got home safely. Are you sure about that? Don't you think it's unfair to just leave like that without taking anything from me? Allow me to appreciate you, please. I don't need any more appreciation, Rita. You have appreciated me enough. Okay then. I wish my roommate was here to see the kind of man that brought me home. So I've been calling non-stop to know how I'm doing. You are staying with someone? Yes, I stay with my roommate. She's not at home at the moment, but she'll be back later this evening. Alright. I hope to see her the next time I get here. Of course you will. Please take care of yourself and drive carefully. I will. I will call you when I get home. Working class woman. Why are you back so early? Aren't you supposed to be at work by this time? Yes, na. I went to work but I had little to do at the office so I came back. What about you? I thought you only went there for an interview. Why are you coming back now? The CEO did not allow me to go. He told me to resume work immediately. Wow, congratulations my dear friend. How is the pay? You know that is the main reason why you are there. The salary is a bit higher than my previous work but I have a feeling I will enjoy my new job. What do you mean? Hmm, huh, Lucy. You should have seen the way the CEO looked at me today when I went to his office. Ha, sharp sharp. Yes, so I was also surprised. I didn't know my beauty has so much effect on him. Beauty, K. Who told you you are beautiful? You think I don't know. Babe, I know how beautiful I am. And I sometimes see the way you crush on me. If not that we are same gender, eh? You would have made a move since. Silly girl, keep on praising yourself for nothing. Seriously, the man was just smiling sheepishly when he came to check how I was faring. He even bought me lunch. How young is he? Young for where? Somebody that is old enough to be my father. The man was just crushing anyhow. Don't mind him, Jerry. I even thought he is a young guy. When you go to work, try and avoid him and focus. Yes, ma. Now my mornings ain't heavy. Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy. Good day, sir. The receptionist told me you want to see me. Yes, my dear Annabelle. Were you busy in your office? Not at all, sir. But I was actually working on a file when she informed me. I hope everything is okay, sir. Yes. Please have a seat. Let's talk. Okay, sir. Um, Annabelle, your CV shows you are single. Are you really single? Or you are engaged? I am single. Is there a problem with it? Um. What will you be doing later this evening when you close from work? Nothing much. I will just hang out with my best friend or probably watch the TV. Okay. What if I invite you to hang out with me? What would you say? I don't know, sir. Are you inviting me to hang out with you? Yes, Annabelle. There is something I want to discuss with you. It is really important and it is bothering me. If it is bothering you, then let's discuss it here. No, my dear. It's not something we should talk about in the office. Let's go somewhere and talk, please. Okay, sir. I came looking for you yesterday, but it seems you closed late from the meeting. Not really. I left the meeting hall quite early, but something else delayed me. What were you looking for me for? I wanted us to go watch football. There is a match holding this evening. I hope you'll be available so we can go watch it. I wish I'll be free, but I have to go see how Rita is doing. She hasn't picked my calls since morning. Rita, care. Who is Rita again? 
Rita is the girl I met yesterday when I returned from the meeting. I mean, that girl is fine. She seems to be passing through something. Really? So she was the reason why you returned to the house later, Abby? I couldn't just help it, bro. I had to spend some time with her. For some reason, I feel drawn to her. Ah, this one is strange, yo. I thought you don't give a damn about women. Well, it's not like I'm in a relationship with her. We are just friends. I want to go see how she is doing. Okay, oh, good luck. So, sir, I am still wondering why you brought me to this place. Whatever it is you want to tell me, I know it is serious. Yes, Annabelle, it is very serious. You know, ever since you stepped your feet in my office, I haven't been myself. I couldn't sleep all through the night. I was thinking about you. That's strange, but why? I think I am in love with you, Annabelle. I feel so drawn and attracted to you. Ever since I got married, I used to think my wife is the most beautiful woman. But you proved me wrong. Oh, so you're married? Yes, I am married. But as it stands now, I don't think I love my wife anymore. All I ever think about is you. But sir, you know we shouldn't be talking about stuff like this. I am your staff and you are my boss. It doesn't matter, Annabelle. The heart wants what it wants. You are the one my heart beats for. I think you should focus on your wife. Please, be my girl. I promise I will never let you lack anything in this life. And I will make you very happy. Please give me time to think about this. I didn't expect you to ask me out so fast. I understand you. But it doesn't take forever to know what you want. I will be the happiest man if you accept to be my girl. I will get back to you when I accept. Oh dear, you got me so worried. Where have you been? Good evening, my love. Sorry, I was in a meeting with some clients. It is so late in the night. You should have at least called to inform me you will return late. Sorry, dear. Just sorry is the only thing you have to say. I called your number endlessly, but you refused picking any of them. I just told you I was in a meeting. It would have been out of place to start picking calls. I am not happy about this. So how come your secretary told me you left the complaint earlier than usual and she didn't mention you went to any meeting? Does she have to be aware of all my movements? Yes, Lawrence, especially when it has to do with the complaint. We came back late yesterday and today the same thing. Brenda, I am very tired from work. I'm not ready for this your nagging. Is there something to eat? Yes, I cooked dinner and it is already cold. Your food is on the dining table. I will see you later then. Hmm, you don't mean it. Well, I wasn't really shocked. You remember I already told you how he looks at me at the office. <laughs> now wow, that man is just shameless. And to think that he's married, no atom of respect for his marriage. Don't mind him, that is meant for you. The wife would be somewhere swearing that he is the best man on earth, not knowing he is chasing after a girl old enough to be his daughter. So men are shameless seriously, so what do you tend to do with him? Will you quit the job so he could stop a stray you? Eh? Quit which job? Is it the one I suffer to get? My dear, I will not quit my job because of one shameless old man. You just have to be careful, Annabelle, and never you give it a chance. God forbid bad thing. I'd rather stay single than be involved with a married man. I still have my self-dignity. Very good. I trust you, my friend. If he tries harassing you, just let me know and I will deal with him myself. Don't mind him. He doesn't know who he's messing with. I'm so happy you came, Dominic. Thanks for always coming to check on me. Please don't thank me. What are friends for? We are friends and we should look after each other. Thank you, dear. Please, what should I offer you? And please don't say no to me this time. You already know what my answer will be, Rita. You don't always have to offer me something whenever I come here. Yes, I always want to offer you something, but you have never accepted once. That is because there is really no need. What will you be doing now after I leave? Are you leaving now? I thought you'd stay with me for a while. Just answer the question. Do you have something important to do after I leave? Not at all. I will only go back to my loneliness. What about your friend? She went out. She'll be back this evening. I want to help you lift your mood. Are you sure? We can go to the cinema or somewhere else. Go get dressed. 
All right. Now my morning's there. Are you done thinking? What is your decision now? I don't want any trouble, sir. The worst part is that you're married. Forget about my wife, Annabelle. She can never be an obstacle in our relationship. Just say yes to me, and I will transform your life for good. And you promise never to hurt me? I will never hurt you. You don't know how many sleepless nights I have had because of you. Okay, fine. Yes, I agree to be your girl. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy Love what you came back really late today. Where went you? I went out with Dominic. When did you return? I came back since in the afternoon. You complained of being lonely, so I came back to stay with you, only to find an empty house. Oh, uh, sorry about that, my friend. You know it's been a while I had fun, so when Dominic brought the idea, I couldn't resist. Who is Dominic? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced both of you yet. Dominic is my new friend. He's a very nice guy. I met him a few days ago. You are already with a guy few days after you and Henry called off the relationship. It's not like I'm in a relationship with Dominic. We are just friends. But what if I am? After all, Henry and I are no longer together. Is it that easy to move on? What do you really want? I thought seeing me happy and smiling was what you wanted. So you wanted me to dwell in the heartbreak forever. It's not like that. I want you to heal first before going into another relationship. Dominic and I are just friends. Annabelle, my dear, thank you very much for giving me a chance in your life. You don't know how happy you have made me. You don't have to thank me, Lawrence. Do you think I would agree to this if I don't love you? So you mean you have feelings for me too? Right from when I walked into your office, I fell in love with you. I was only trying to be professional so I don't lose my job. Wow. You don't know how happy this makes me feel. I can't remember the last time a woman made me feel this way. Not even your wife? Not even my wife. You are the best thing that has ever happened to me. I know, my love. I promise to always make you happy, even more than your wife does. Annabelle, you have to quit from your job. I don't want you to work for me. But why? You know how important this job is to me. Why do you want to make me resign? Because I don't want you to stress yourself. Resign from the job and I will place you on a monthly allowance. Really? You will pay me monthly even without me doing anything? Yes, my love. When you leave this place, I want to take you to somewhere so you can choose whatever model of car you need and I'll buy it for you. You also want to buy me a car? Oh, that is so sweet of you. But no, I don't need a car yet. Why not? I have a friend that doesn't like minding her business. She will pester me to know where I got the money from. I don't want to tell her about our relationship just yet. It's okay there. I will transfer some money into your accounts before we leave. Thank you so much, my love. Yes, so my dear, I am so tired. Today was not easy at all. Sorry, dear. I think this new job is even more stressful than the previous. You never complain of tiredness when you return. My dear, the higher the amount, the tedious the work. You are right, but you have to take it easy so you don't get sick. I wonder why they would leave everything for a newcomer. Don't mind them. It's just that I am brilliant and I do my job well. So what about this, your CEO? Did he bother you today? Yes, so he came to my office before closing time and demanded to see me, but I turned him down. Can you imagine his audacity? Is there no one you can report his harassment to? No one at all. You know he is the owner of the company, so he feels he can do whatever he wants. I already told you to quit that job. If it gets out of hand. I gave him the warning of his life today when he followed me from the company to where I wanted to take a cab. Very good. I want him seriously. I'm sure he will not try such nonsense again in his life. I don't wanna fall in love again. Henry, what are you doing here? Hi, Rita. Sorry for coming uninvited. How are you doing? No, please don't say that. You're always welcome here. I'm fine, are you? You're not looking bad at all. Thank you, dear. What about Bella? She's out for the moment. Please have a seat. Thank you, Rita. 
You don't look really okay. Haven't you been feeding well or are you sick? Not really. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. I'm so happy you're here. It's been a while we saw each other. Yes, dear. I know it has not been easy for the both of us these past few days. I am really happy that you are pushing through. I really do not have a choice. If I am given a choice, I would never wish to experience all this. It's okay, dear. Well, I didn't really come for this. I came to check on you and know how you are doing. That's so sweet of you, Henry. It is a pity I will lose a good man like you. You are better men than me. I'm sure you'll find the best man soon. Someone that will treat you like the queen that you are. So what can I offer you? Nothing really. I came to see someone in this neighborhood. So I decided to come see her. That's nice of you. Thank you. My love, why are you still sitting here by this time? It is late. Let's go to bed. You can go to bed, Brenda. I will join you soon. Besides, why are you still awake? I noticed you were not on the bed, so I decided to come find you. Is anything bothering you? Nothing is bothering me. I'm just tired from work. If nothing is bothering you, then you should be on the bed resting against tomorrow. Can you just leave me alone, Brenda? I'm not in the mood for your pastry right now. Go to bed. I will join you soon. Lawrence, what is going on? You seem to be far away, even though you are here. What exactly is the problem? Talk to me. Maybe I can be of help. There is nothing to talk about. Well, I want to go for shopping tomorrow. I want to buy my toiletries. So please, I need some money. I don't have money. I am broke. What do you mean by that? You and I know that is not possible. Besides, I am not asking for much. What is not possible? Do you know what is happening to my company? As a matter of fact, we are suffering from losses right now. So we need money to fix it up. I am not asking for something huge, Lawrence. I need to buy my toiletries, please. You can join me in bed when you are ready. Annabelle, Lucy, what is it again today? Should we have washed the dishes you begged me to? Allow me to rest for once in this house now. It is not about that one. I saw something shocking in your room. What were you looking for in my room? Why did you go there without my permission? I saw so many new shoes and new clothes in your room. I only went there to help you clean it. Where did you get all those clothes and shoes from? Where do they sell them? You ask silly questions sometimes. No, I meant to ask. Where did you get the money to buy those expensive shoes and clothes? Are you seriously asking an adult where she got her money? Lest I forget, Lucy, you are not my mother, so allow me to rest. It is not like that now. You and I know you haven't been paid your salary. How come you were able to pay for all those shoes? It is none of your business. And please, do not enter my room again. No vexture. I was just curious. Where did you get the money from? Since you don't want me to sit down here in peace, you can have the house all to yourself. I don't like this, Dominic. We barely hang out these days. Hang out to where exactly? Richard, free me a big. We hang out when I'm free. You know how it is when I start ignoring you. We are friends for God's sake. Yet, for the past few days, we behave like strangers. Sorry about that, bro. It's just that I'm trying to win Rita over. I'm in love with that girl. I thought you said your heart is locked forever. That you can never love another woman. I don't know what is happening, seriously. That girl has broken all the walls I built in my heart. Instead of acting this way, why not just tell her how you feel? Who knows, maybe she feels the same way. No, she's still hurting and it will take time for her to heal. Being with her will make her heal faster. If she loves you, she will give you a chance. Are you not tired of zoning yourself? Seriously, it is not easy to be friends with the girl you love. Make a step, Joel. Just imagine how you have been avoiding me, all in the name of keeping her company. You shouldn't even be complaining. After all, you were always pestering me to open my heart and give love a chance again. I am happy to have the real you back. Welcome, dear. Thank you, sis. How are you doing today? Fine, thank you. How come you came back so early today? Nothing much, dear. No much sales today. Would you like to come with me tomorrow instead of staying at home doing nothing? Yes, I would love to. I'm feeling terrible. Maybe coming out to make me feel better. What's wrong? I thought you were getting better and gradually forgetting Henry. It seems to be impossible to forget Henry. He came visiting yesterday. He claimed he just wanted to see how I'm doing. He came yesterday and you were telling me today. You know you came back late and I was already asleep. I thought about him all through the day and night. I don't know what to do, Bella. 
It's okay, dear. I totally understand how you feel. It will take a little while before you move on. I pray this feeling goes away soon. Why not hang out more with Dominic? Maybe he will help you forget about him. Are you sure that will work? Yes, Rita. Being with people will help you a lot. If you are always staying in this house alone, you will end up doing something stupid to yourself. I will see him tomorrow then. I will try as much as possible to move on. Welcome to my humble abode, my love. I know my house is not as beautiful as yours. Oh, come on. This house is just perfect for the person of your status. It is beautiful like you. Thank you, dear. So what can I offer you? Don't worry about offering me anything. I am totally fine. When we leave this place, I will take you to where I will spoil you, silly. You eh? Uh, when will you ever get tired of spoiling me, silly? Never in my life. As long as we are together, I will keep on making you happy. Sometimes, I feel like I don't deserve you. I have never been with someone that treats me so well. This is the only way I can show my love to you. Don't worry, Annabelle. I haven't started spoiling you yet. Then allow me offer you something to drink at least. No, don't bother. If you really want to pay me back, then you have to be with me for a full day. Really? I want to be with you, Annabelle. It is not fun seeing you in your house or in my office. Let's spend some time together and get to know each other. That is a nice idea and I like it. So when do you think it will be better? Tomorrow. I will tell my wife I will sleep over at the office. You can tell your friend the same thing. Okay, dear. Welcome to my house, beautiful Rita. Please make yourself comfortable. You have a nice place here, but the environment is so quiet. It seems you like quiet places. Well, I love quiet places. I don't like to be disturbed with noise. That is why I choose this place. I like quiet places too. We seem to like the same thing. I'm glad you noticed. We like same things and I feel the bond between us. I know you can feel it too. I don't know about that. And I can feel the bond between us. I know you can feel it too. Rita, I know you are still hurting and you probably need some time to heal. But I want to let you know that I have fallen in love with you. Such a joke. It is not a joke. I am in love with you. I am not really good with words. I don't even know where to start from. But I want to be with you, Rita. I am not interested, Dominic. My ex broke my heart and I still think about him till today. Then let me help you heal. Let me heal you. Let me help you forget about him. It is not that easy. Make it easy, please. Give me a chance in your life, Rita. Let me take your pain away and replace it with love. You came back late again, Lorenz. Since when did all this start? Since when did you start keeping late nights? I should be the one to ask when all this started. Questioning me and always nagging. Since when did it start? It started since the day you neglected me as your wife. What is going on, Lawrence? I am now tired and reluctant to come back home because I don't have the peace that I deserve as the head of this house. What peace are you talking about? You leave the house very early in the morning only to return late at night and expect me not to say a word. And what has you saying a word done for you? You just end up pushing me away the more. Can't you behave like other good wives? The good wives you are comparing me to, are they facing what I'm facing? Are they going through the same thing I am going through? What are you going through? Have I ever laid my hands on you? You don't have to lay your hands on me before I feel pain. You are torturing me emotionally, Lorenz. Why are you doing this? I am too tired to listen to all this. Cause I'm finally getting real sleep. Love watching all the color rush back into magic. I know what it means. Be happy now, I finally jumped off your merry-go-round Got both of my feet on solid Hi, hello. I wasn't really expecting to see you at home today. I thought you went to observe your business as usual. Good evening, Henry. It is such a surprise to see you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. You are not looking bad at all. I can see you are really taking good care of yourself. Yes, I am. This life is too short to wallow in pain. I need to enjoy myself as much as I can. That is nice to hear. So why are you here? I hope there is no problem. Of course not. There is no problem at all. I came to see Rita. Please, is she at home? Oh, Rita? She's not at home. She left earlier today. Please, do you know when she will return? No, I don't. By the way, what business do you have with her? I don't have any business with her. I only came to say hi to her. It's been a while, so... Uh... Why are you doing this, Henry? Did 
Peter is trying very hard to move on after you called off the wedding. But you keep showing yourself here. It's been a while I saw her. I can't move on either and I can't marry her because of our genotype. All I can do is see her face. Let her be please. Stop making it complicated. Allow her to move on in peace. I really feel like having ice cream this night but I'm not with enough money. Okay, so why are you telling me? What do you want me to do? See me see Keso. I am not telling you to do anything. Only said I feel like having ice cream, but I don't have money. You eh, uh, you have tactics of begging someone for money. Instead of you to say it direct to the person, you will look for a cunning way to say it. I should ask you direct, so you can start calling me a beggar, B. But truly you are a beggar. Well, I will go get ice creams for us when the sun comes down. Thank you, bestie. Um, lest I forget. I won't be coming back home tomorrow. I will come back the next day, very early in the morning. Why won't you come back home? Do you have plans for going somewhere else? Yes, I do. We will work all through the night at the office. So I will come back the next day. Please go and get ice cream. We will talk about it when you return. Because I don't understand why you would sleep over at the office. I cannot go and get it now. I am tired and the sun is too high. Okay, give me money. I will go and get it. Alright then, let me go get some money. My love, you called me. I was in the kitchen trying to tidy up some things and cook dinner for us. Don't bother about cooking dinner unless you want to cook it for yourself. But why not? You didn't eat anything in the morning before going to work. Why not eat dinner? Don't you hear me, Brenda? I said forget about dinner. I already ate something before coming back home. Since when did you start eating out, Lawrence? From all I can remember, you prefer my food to eating out. Well, I was really hungry, so I had no choice but to eat out. So don't worry yourself. What is going on, Lawrence? Why do I sense that everything is not right? I feel like there is something going on which you have refused to tell me. This is one reason why I don't like coming back to this house again. Nowadays, all you do is sense what does not exist. It's not like that. You have changed, Lawrence. This is not the way you. Now you savvy. Well, I called to tell you that I won't be coming back tomorrow. Why not? I have a lot to do at the office, so I'll sleep at the office tomorrow. What is it, Vita? I know you want to tell me something. Stop beating about the bush and go straight to the point. <laughs> you know me too well, my dear friend. I want to tell you something, but I don't know how you take it. Is it something bad? Of course not. I don't want you to judge me or make me feel like I don't have patience. My dear friend, you know I am the last person that will judge you. We have told each other many secrets and you have never judged me either. Dominic asked me out and I'm planning to say yes to him. I mean, what's the point of turning him down when I love him too? But wait, oh, isn't it too fast for him to ask you out? There is no need to keep pretending we don't have feelings for each other. I want to be with him. Are you really sure you love him or you want him to help you move on from Henry? I sincerely do not know Bella, but all I know is that I want to be with him. I desperately want to be happy again, forget about Henry and move on with my life. Now my mornings ain't heavy. Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy. The sugar in my tea. My sugar plum, what took you so long? You told me you're already on your way. Sorry about that, my love. I was with my roommate. She engaged me in a little conversation. I couldn't back out. It's okay, I understand how you women can be sometimes. How are you doing, my love? If you're hungry, we can go to the nearest restaurant to have what to eat. No, not yet, my dear. I still have a little file to work on. I'll be done in less than an hour. So, we will have all the evening and night till tomorrow morning to ourselves, huh? How does that sound? For me, it is what I have always wanted. I cannot wait to be with you. Same here. So where should I wait for you? I already have the address of the hotel we will be. Go and book a room there. I will join you later. Okay, there. I have something very important to discuss with you when I come over. Okay, there. But that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that Brenda, what is it again? I thought I left some money for you on the dining table. It is not about the money, Lawrence. I only came to surprise you, just like you have always wanted. What is that supposed to mean? How dare you come to my office without calling to inform me? I am sorry, my husband. I thought you would be happy to see me. You have always wanted me to come over, so I decided to surprise you. Please go back home. I told you I have a lot of things to do today. You are distracting me. 
So is there no way you can finish up and come home today? I won't be able to spend the night alone. And why not? Are you a child? I better go back home and sleep alone. I will see you tomorrow morning. Lawrence, the way you are treating me, is it fair? What have I really done wrong to you? But listen to yourself, Brenda. You won't be able to sleep alone. Something a child in primary school would say. Fine. I will bring you dinner. Don't come back to this office once you leave. You are distracting me. I need to focus. I'm sorry. It's better than I ever thought it could be. I could say I miss you. Hi, good afternoon. Good afternoon to you too. Who are you and how may I help you? Please, I'm here to see Dominic. Now I am confused if I'm in the wrong house. Does he stay here? You are welcome. Dominic is not at home at the moment. I guess you are Rita. Yes, my name is Rita. Okay, he told me you would come over and that was why I didn't go with him. Please, where did he go and how long will it take? He went to fix some things concerning his job. Don't worry, he will be back soon. Alright. You are very beautiful. You have no idea how highly Dominic speaks of you. He really loves you. I love him too. And that is why I'm here to tell him to his face that I love him. Thank you for making my friend happy again. He hasn't been himself ever since his ex left him. I'm happy to have someone like him too. So what is your name and your relationship with him? My name is Richard and he is my best friend. We have been friends for a very long time. That is nice. Ooh, I don't wanna fall. My princess, today is the happiest day of my life. I have wished nothing but to be with you. And now your wish has been fulfilled. I am happy to be with you too. You have been a blessing to me, Lawrence. You don't have to thank me, Annabelle. Your happiness is all that matters to me. Thank you, my love. So you said you have something important to discuss with me. Yes, my dear. I have something to discuss with you. Promise me you'll give me a positive answer. Baby, whatever you want me to do, just say it and I will do it right away. Annabelle, ever since you came into my life, my life has been colorful. I haven't been happy like never before. I can't believe this is what you wanted to discuss with me. No, my love. I want to let you know that I don't want what we share to end this night. I want us to have more pleasurable nights together. Oh, that is so sweet. Annabelle, please, will you marry me? What? Yes, dear. I don't know how this life will be without you. I want to have you in my life. Please don't say no to me. But you're married. And so, whether I am married or not, it doesn't matter. My wife doesn't have a say in this. In as much as I love you and I want to be with you too, I don't want problem. Trust me, dear. No harm will come to you as long as we are together. Yes, I will marry you, Lawrence. But you have to make sure your wife is aware and to do not make any trouble. Don't worry, I'll talk to her and I'll make you move in with us. That will be wonderful. Oh, ooh, I don't wanna fall. Hello, sunshine. Welcome, dear. You took quite a long time to get home today. I'm sorry about that, my love. I didn't know what I went to do with the me. It's okay. So where is Richard? I'm sure you both already met each other. I told him to be here for you. Yes, we already met each other. I must confess, your friend is a very nice person. And he has a good sense of humor. Oh, now nah, I'm jealous. Come on, you don't have to be jealous, my love. You have a good sense of humor too. And you're quite funny. Wait, did you just refer to me as your love? Yes, Dominic. I refer to you as my love because you are truly my love. Do you have a problem with that? Of course not. Does it mean you have agreed to be with me? Yes, Dominic. I realize I also love you. I also want to be with you. I also want to be loved. And I also care about you. It won't hurt to give each other a chance. Oh, wow. I didn't see this coming. Thank you for giving me a chance, Rita. I promise you will never regret this. I know I won't. I trust you, Dominic. I wanna go back and forth when I know I deserve much more. Oh, it's so good to be home. I thought you told me you would be back very early in the morning. But look at the time, it is almost evening. You should even be happy I came back. Besides, why were you waiting for me to return in the morning? It is not like I was waiting, but that was the time you said you would come back. So I tried reaching you, but your line was not reachable. Maybe you should just let me be, Lucy. I am not your mother, neither are you mine. So tell me, where did you spend the night and with who? I already told you there was a lot of work at the office, so I had to sleep over. What exactly do you want to hear? Hmm, Annabelle, that seems off to me. Because do you that I know would rather bring the work home than sleep in the office? Well, we were all instructed to sleep over. You can't blame me. And we completed the work this morning. That is why I am late. Okay, oh, go in and freshen up. I already cooked, so you no need to bother yourself. Aw, thank you very much, best friend. Ooh, 
Where are you coming from, Lorraine? Is that how you welcome your husband after a stressful day and night at work? Answer my question, Lorraine, and don't make me lose my temper. Where exactly are you coming from? Can you imagine the audacity? Brenda, what makes you think you can ask me all these questions in my own house? I don't care what you say right now, Lorraine. All I want is an answer to where you slept and where you have been all through the morning and afternoon. Didn't I tell you I'll be working in the office? And you worked in the office to this evening? Yes, of course. Can I go now? Well, I went to your office this morning and your secretary told me you left yesterday evening and you didn't show up this morning. I left and returned in the afternoon, yet it was the same news. Why are you lying to me, Lorraine? What audacity do you have to ask my secretary questions? I called your line all three yesterday and today, but you refused to pick my calls. What is your problem, Brenda? Why are you trying to create a problem that is not necessary? That thing you are looking for, you will definitely see it. Guy, you just left like that without waiting for me to return. Are you kidding me? Wait for you till when? Do you have any idea how long I stayed till I left? But at least you should have kept her company till I returned. You left her all alone. It was not fair now. See me see Keso, I should have stayed with your girlfriend till you return? How does that sound to you? I just feel bad that she was alone. Hmm, Dominique, you really love this girl. I'm surprised that you have fallen deeply for her. What can I do now? I have tried so many times to control my feelings, but I can't. I'm happy for you, but you have to take it easy so you don't get heartbroken again. I'm trying my best, Richard. It is not easy to control emotions, especially when you are with the person you love. So what do you intend to do? Will you settle down with her? I don't know yet, Richard. We just started dating. Even though I'm ready for marriage, I have to take my time and observe her. My god, Annabelle, don't tell me you are not yet ready for work. Good morning, dear. Wow, I can see you are ready. Have a nice and wonderful day ahead of you. Are you not going to work today? Today is Monday and you should be at the office already. Today is my day off. What do you mean today is your day? Have you forgotten today is the first working day of the week? And so, is it not possible for today to be someone's day off? I have noticed that recently. You haven't been going to work. You will just sit at home and cross your legs. Yet, you are buying expensive clothes and shoes. <laughs> that is how God works, my darling. When he said he will give us our daily bread, was material things not involved? So you mean God throws them from heaven to you, right? Yes, now. If you're doubting me, go and quit your job, then come home and stay. You will testify to what I am saying. I beg. Annabelle, I used to be waiting you they do behind closed doors. Go to work, Jerry. By the time you return, a sweet-smelling aroma will be there to welcome you. See you later. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush Back into my cheeks I know what it means to be happy now I finally jumped off your merry-go-round Got both of my feet on Hi, good morning to you Good morning to you too Who are you and how may I help you? My name is Dominic I'm here to see Rita. Rita is not available at the moment. She stepped out to buy something and won't be back anytime soon. Oh wow, that's a big disappointment on my own part. I wanted to take her somewhere. Maybe if you had called her on the phone before coming, you wouldn't have been disappointed. I called her countless times but her phone was switched off. Oh yes, I forgot. She switched off her phone before leaving because her ex-fiancé was still calling her. Her ex was calling her? What exactly does he want? I thought he called off the wedding himself. I really do not know what his problem is. Please have a seat. It is a pleasure to finally meet you. Rita says many good things about you. Wow, that is nice to hear. She talks about you too. But I have to go now. So soon? Why not wait for her? No, I can't. Especially since you said she will take a little longer. It's alright. I will inform her you came visiting. Hopefully, she will come see you later in the day. Thank you. My love, you called me. Yes, I called you. Are you done with what you were doing in the kitchen? Not really. I was trying to set the table for lunch when I heard you scream my name. Don't bother about lunch, unless you want to set the table for yourself. Stop this, Lorenz. For the past few days now, you haven't been eating my food. Why are you treating me this way? Is it by force to eat your food? Maybe I found a better place to eat good food. I am eager to know what the problem is. 
to know what I have done wrong to make you behave this way with me. You want to know the reason? Yes, I want to know. Good. The problem is that I will be getting married to a second wife soon and I will bring her to this house for introduction. <laughs> you are so funny my husband. Please don't make such an expensive joke to scare me next time. Oh really? So you think it's a joke huh? Wait until it turns to reality. Tell me you are not serious. Tell me you are only saying it to make me feel bad. I am serious Brenda, but I want to take another wife. I am in love with someone else. It doesn't mean I don't love you either. What is happening to us, Lawrence? Why do you suddenly want to take a second wife? I am in love with her. Please understand. God, no. This can't be happening to me. It can't happen to us. Lawrence, why do you want to humiliate me this way? What have I done to you that cannot be forgiven? <laughs> we have worked so hard together and we have passed through a lot. I have suffered for this family just so we could have a peaceful life. And now that we have achieved everything we wanted, you want to betray me and take another wife? I will not let this happen to me. I have never cheated on you nor thought about it. All through our married life, I have tried to make you happy. And to make this home peaceful and worth living. Why do you want to destroy everything with your hands? God, please don't let this happen to my family. Let the peace that was once bestowed in this family to return. Whatever reason my husband wants to use, let it not be valid anymore. Hi, is Annabelle at home? Inform her I am here and I want to see her. Excuse me, who are you and what right do you have to come here and order me around? Young lady, if you know who I am, you won't sit there and ask me questions. Go in and inform Annabelle that I am here to see her. This is my house, Mr. Man, and I will not do that if you don't request in a more polite manner. Look at these little brats. Do you know who you are talking to? Do you also know who you are talking to? I don't care whosoever you are, but this is my house and I have the right to ask you to leave. My name is Lawrence. Annabelle once worked in my company and I am the CEO of that company. Oh really? So you are that man that has been harassing my friend Abby? And you still have the nerves to show your face here? And I am the CEO of that company. What are you talking about? Now you don't know what I'm talking about. Why can't you leave Annabelle alone for God's sake? Relationship is not by force. There is something obviously wrong with your head. Hi girl, did you see him on your way coming into the house? Did I see who? What are you talking about? That useless CEO of yours. Can you imagine the infantry? He's not even ashamed. My CEO? Wait, are you talking about Lawrence? Yes, that he was introducing himself as... I don't like that man at all. Just imagine how he spoke to me when he came. Was he rude to you? Yes, he was. You should report that man in the police station. He shouldn't harass you to the point of coming to your house. This one you are sounding this way. I hope you didn't say anything insulting to him. Trust me now. You know I don't take nonsense. I gave him the insult of his life when he came here and I warned him never to bother you again. Ah! Who sent you? I don't understand. Shebi, you said he was pestering you too much at the office. That did not give you any right to insult him. What is wrong with you, Lucy? Did I tell you to fight for me? I was only trying to help now. You are unbelievable. My love, my sister told me you came to the house yesterday. Yes, I did. She told me you went to get something down the road, but it took so long to return. I'm sorry, dear. I didn't go to get something down the road. I went to the market. I know how crowded it is in the market. If I had known, I would have taken you there and returned you back home myself. I didn't want to bother you. You've done a whole lot for me already. Oh, come on. I haven't done anything for you at all. Your sister seems to be a nice person. She's my friend, but I don't mind if you keep referring to her as my sister. But babe, why is she communicating with your ex-fiancé? 
I told the both of you were over. Yes, we are over, but he keeps calling once in a while to check on me. I switched off my phone when I went to the market because he was calling non-stop. I am not comfortable with it at all. He's a threat to our relationship. Nothing can ever happen, my love. You're the one my heart yearns for. I'm not happy, Annabelle. Can you imagine that nuisance friend of yours? She had the guts to insult me. I am really sorry, my love. She mistook you for someone else. Tell me, what exactly have you been telling your friends about me and our relationship? Nothing. She doesn't even know we are in a relationship. Did you tell her I was disturbing you at work? Because the way she sounded, she sounded like you both had a deep conversation about me and how I've been bothering you. Come off it, dear. Like I said before, she mistook you for someone else. She thought you were the same person I had complained about to her. I don't like it at all. That was a total embarrassment on my own part. I'm sorry, dear. I will talk to her when I get home. Get ready. I'll be taking you to my house tomorrow. I want to introduce you to my wife. You can move with us after our wedding. Okay, dear. Learned all that from You called me. Please hurry because I was working on a file in my room. Sit down. It's not something you will stand to listen. What is it? I will be getting married very soon. Um, congratulations, my dear. I never knew you were in a relationship. Yes. I decided to keep it a secret from you because I know how lousy you can be sometimes. Are you really saying that about me? Well, I have been in a relationship for a while now, so he wants to make the next move, which is us getting married. Oh wow, I'm so happy to hear that. So when will I meet him home? At least to see the guy that has stolen my friend's heart. You met him already? No, I haven't. It's been years I saw you with a man. So I'm pretty sure I haven't met your Prince Charming. His name is Lawrence, the CEO of the company I once worked at. He is the love of my life. What? That old man? I thought he said he's married. Yes, he is married, but I don't care. That man is loaded, Lucy. And you know I am a baby girl. I don't like suffering. I can't believe this, Annabelle. I thought you promised never to give a married man a chance in your life. Well, that was then. That man has spent too much on me. I want to gain more. And the only way to do that is to marry him. Welcome, Omoni. I was so worried about you. You came back really late today. How many times have I told you not to worry about me? I am not a child, Brenda. I can take care of myself. I know you can take care of yourself, but can you do the favor of always informing me on time whenever you want to come home late? Are you kidding me? Should I inform you when I want to return to my own house? I am your wife, Lawrence, and this is also my house, so please endeavor to let me know when you will return. Whenever I choose to return is none of your business. By the way, who is this young girl with you? I almost forgot. This is Annabelle, my beautiful sweet 16. Remember I told you I want to get a second wife? Wait, don't tell me you were serious about it. You know, when I am joking and when I am serious, I am very sure you saw the seriousness in my face when I said it. You want to marry another wife and you decided to bring a girl two times younger than me? And what is wrong with that? Am I supposed to bring a woman old enough to be my mother? I am very disappointed in you, Lore. I expected more from you. How could you humiliate me this way? What is really my offense? This is not something you should be crying about. I have made my decision and it is final. I love Annabelle, so I will marry her. I wish you good luck. Dominic and I have been together for a while now. Yet he hasn't spoken anything about marriage. Doesn't he want to marry me? Yes, I know I'm not supposed to talk about it for now. But I can't help but worry. What if he just wants to use and dump me like Henry did? We are both not getting any younger. I will soon get to the age of 30. And I'm sure he's 30 already. So what could a grown up man like him do in a relationship without thinking of marriage? I have to talk to him about this. I almost got married but Henry disappointed me. I will not let Dominic disappoint me as well. Even if he is not ready for marriage, I will look for a way to make him ready. This year will not pass me by. I must settle down. Whether I love him or not, it doesn't matter.
So my son, that was what he told me. See so now I am still in shock because I didn't see that coming. Mom, please relax. Don't cry. Crying will not solve anything. Even though I am also surprised that dad would even think of doing this to us. We have to keep calm and think of what to do. What exactly is there to do when you already introduced the girl to me? He told me openly that they will be getting married soon. Mom, calm down. Dad loves you so much. I'm sure about that. I don't know what his actions are all about, but I will talk to him. Lorenz disrespected me in such a way that I looked at him twice to be sure he is the man I married. Are you sure you haven't done anything wrong to him? Maybe you should think properly. I haven't done anything to him, Felix. I have been nothing but a good housewife. All this started when I asked him for money. He changed and stopped eating my food. Hmm, mom, please don't overthink about this. I'll find a way to solve this problem. Even though I did something wrong to him, is it enough reason for him to treat me this way? I'll call him and talk to him. That is not a hard nut to crack. I'll find a way to persuade him to know what the problem is. Please don't worry yourself, mom. That will come around soon. Thank you, my son. I rush back into magic, I know what it means to be happy now. I finally jumped off your merry-go-round. Got both of my feet on solid ground. Babe, how far? I thought we have a visitor here. What visitor? Are you expecting someone to come to the house? No, but I saw a car parked outside. It actually looks new, so I thought you have a visitor. <laughs> really, Lucy? So I am not classy or rich enough to own a car? Not like that. But you and I know you can't afford a car, so where is the visitor hiding? Come off its jaw. There is no visitor. My baby boo bought it for me this morning when you went to work. Wait, you mean that car that is parked outside is yours? Yes, my darling. That is my new ride. It was delivered to me this morning. I couldn't control my happiness. I busted into tears. Man, that man is really trying for you. Now you know what I am talking about. Old men are the best. They know what to do to make a woman happy. Not all these chewing gum boys. I'm so happy for you, dear. At least he is making you happy. That is all that matters. <laughs> Baby, what is the problem? It is so unlike you to request to see me by this time of the day. I'm sorry for disturbing your work. No, dear. You don't have to apologize. I need to be here for you whenever you need me. Thank you for your time. Um, I really do not know how to say this. It's very embarrassing. You shouldn't feel embarrassed whenever you want to discuss with me. You're my girl and I will always see meaning to every conversation you have with me. Um, Dominic, I've been thinking. We've been in a relationship for a while now. Don't you think it would be a good idea for us to settle down? You mean you want us to get married? Yes, baby. We're not getting any younger. I'm almost 30 and I believe you're 30 already. Let's start a family and have kids together. Hmm, <laughs> Rita. I never really thought about this. Give me some time and I'll get back to you. Welcome home, my love. I prepared something delicious for you to eat. Thanks, but no thanks. I am not hungry. I eat before coming here. Trust me, my love. It is very delicious. I cooked your favorite food. You will like it. I am not hungry, Brenda. You can keep it till tomorrow morning. How was work today, my love? Did my secretary come to this house earlier today? Yes, she did. She dropped some files with me. She told me to keep them for you since you'll be working on them tonight. Good. I am tired and I want to go inside and rest. Do you need a massage? I can be of help if you are really tired. Thank you, Brenda, but I can manage. What is really your problem, Lawrence? I am trying to bring back the spark that used to be in our marriage, but you are making it hard for me. I only told you I can manage on my own. What is really my offense? Is she really worth it? We have worked so hard for everything we have now. Why do you want to destroy it with your hands? You know what? Go ahead and do whatever you want. Learned all that from I came to your workplace yesterday, 
but your co-worker told me you left already yes rita called to inform me she had something very important to discuss with me so i had to rush home really there's something important i hope she did not break up with you because it seems being with a woman is not your calling you can as well be single forever it's not that as a matter of fact she never wants to leave me was that what she said she proposed marriage to me she wants us to get married with the excuse that we are not getting any younger <laughs> in this 21st century a girl proposed marriage first I was also shocked, my brother. If not that I love her, I would have tagged her desperate. She is desperate, bro. So what do you intend to do? I would advise you don't fall for this. Get to know her very well before you marry her. I have no plans of marrying her now. Forever is too far to make a decision. We have to know each other better. To know if we will be able to relate ourselves for the rest of our lives. Sweetheart, you know you don't really have to bring me here. I'm used to seeing you in your house. I wanted us to change the environment. I haven't taken you out ever since we started dating. You are right, but this place is very expensive. I don't want you to waste or spend money because of me. I don't mind. I'll do anything for you. It's like the one that will make you happy. I know, dear. So what about what we discussed the last time? You said you'd get back to me when you made the decision. Yes, that's right. Rita, you know I love you very much. Yes, baby. I know you love me and I love you too. Good. And we started dating a few weeks ago. Don't you think it will be better if we take one step at a time? What do you mean? Babe, it is too sudden to start talking about marriage. We barely know each other. Don't get me wrong. I love you very much and I would like to spend the rest of my life with you. But it is too sudden. Babe, it doesn't take forever to know someone. We all have the information we need already. What else is keeping us? We will eventually get married, but not now. Let's get to know each other first, please. But that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that. I've been calling you, but no response from you. Why exactly have you been calling me? Please, I want to be left alone. Allow me, please. Do you mind coming to the sitting room? Let's talk. Talk about what exactly? Talk about the fact that you want to marry a girl two times younger than me. You are being paranoid, Brenda. You know I hate to see you cry. And I hate to see you in this kind of mood. You hate to see me cry, yet you are the one making me cry. What exactly do you want, Lawrence? Haven't I tried my best to be a good wife to you? I am attracted to Annabelle. It is just an attraction for God's sake and it is normal. If truly you have respect for me as your wife, you would have gone far with her. Brenda, you know I still love you. You are my wife and nobody will drag your position with me. Hearing you say this makes me sick. Please leave me alone. I want to be left alone. I'm sorry if I'm hurting you. If you are hurting me, I hope you'll be cool with it if I decide to do the same thing with you. Don't you ever try to cheat on me. Then what about you? Am I not human too? Why are you cheating on me? I will never accept polygamy. I will marry Annabelle. Good luck with that. Once you marry, I'll be rest assured I will fight for a divorce. What is going on, Rita? You have been moody and indoors since morning. What is eating you up? Take a good look at me, Bella. Am I not beautiful enough for a man to rush marriage with? Of course, you are very beautiful. What is the problem this time? Don't tell me you are still thinking about him. I am not thinking about Harry. Dominic is the one hurting me. Why am I so unlucky when it comes to relationship? You are not unlucky. Maybe it is not yet time for you to meet the right person. It's taking too long to meet the right person. Am I just an object of use and dump? What happened between you and Dominic? Dominic and I have been together for a while now. I thought about it and realized we should settle down since we are not getting any younger. Don't tell me you brought up the topic of marriage first. Of course I did. And what is wrong with that? Since he took time in making the first step, I tell you to keep him out. Come on now, Rita. Don't you know you will look desperate? Considering the fact that you guys have only been together for a while. I don't care, Bella. I want to get married as soon as possible. And since he doesn't want to do it on his own way, I'll do it my own way. But that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned... Babe, Alpha, what will you be doing this evening? Any problem? 
Do you want me to do anything for you? Answer me, Joe. You don't answer question with question. Well, I don't really know what my schedule will be like today. Who knows? I might be called to go to the office. Be serious now. Well, I won't be doing anything today. I will only be at home and watch movie all day. What's wrong? I went to your room and I noticed you haven't had some change of clothes in a long time now. Shebi, you made it clear we should stay away from each other's room. Why did you go to my room? Because I wanted to see the things you really need. Get ready. We will go out for shopping this evening. You mean it? Yes, dear. I have some things to buy, so you will use that opportunity to buy some clothes and shoes that you need. But babe, you know I don't have money. I don't have a rich sugar daddy like you. I only depend on my salary. And who said you should pay? Whatever you want, just write them down. I will pay for everything. Oh, that's so nice of you, my dear friends. Thank you very much. I didn't know you would be this nice when you have money. Don't be silly, Joe. You helped me out when I didn't have money. So this is my turn. Thank you. Hello Felix my son, I am glad you finally remembered your father today. It is always all about your mother. It's not like that dad. Whenever I call your line, it's not always reachable. I am glad I could get to you today. So how are you doing my son? It's been such a long time I heard from you. Don't you want to come back anymore? I will come back soon dad, but not with the problem that is going on between you and mom. Oh, I see. I see she already told you about what has been happening. Tell me it's not true. It is true, Felix. I want to marry another wife. It doesn't mean I don't love your mother anymore. I still love her. No, I don't think you still love her. Else, you won't hurt her the way you are doing. What happened to loving and caring husband you used to be? Please beg your mother on my behalf. She wants to leave me. Please beg her not to go. Mom wants to go? If she leaves, then it is all your fault. What exactly do you want, father? Why can't you allow the peace that was in this family to remain? You have a happy marriage. Why do you want to spoil it? Please, come back, Felix. Come back so your mother will stay. I will not come back anymore, father, until you stop whatever you are doing that is hurting mom. You will end up losing the both of us. Hello? Felix? Hello? You hung up on me. I was very shocked when I saw your call, Rita. And I was more shocked when you told me to come here. Sorry if I bothered you. Were you busy? Not at all. I wasn't busy. In fact, I was on my way to see Dominic at his place of work. I hope everything is okay with you. Everything is not okay with me, Richard. I feel very bad and I feel like I will lose Dominic soon. Come on, Rita. You can never lose Dominic. It seems you have no idea how much he loves you. What makes you feel that way? If he loves me like you claim, why hasn't he proposed to me yet? Why is he taking his time to decide to spend the rest of his life with me? Marriage is not dating. It is more deeper than you think. If he wants to settle down, he has to take his time to know if you are truly the one for him. Really? And what if it's after a year he realizes I'm not the one he wants? What will happen to me? Dominic can stay with you for a year. I'm sure he will make a move before your relationship gets to a year. It is so easy for you to say. You have no idea what I'm feeling right now. Calm down, Rita. I will talk to him on your behalf. I don't want to talk to him. I want you to do something for me. Something that will help me get him to marry me. What could that be? I want you to sleep with me and get me pregnant. Then I'll pin the pregnancy on him, force him to marry me. What? What it means to be happy now. Honey jumped off your merry go round. Got both of my feet on solid ground. Don't want to go back. Hi baby. Welcome Lorraine. I thought you went out. I've been blowing my car horn since. Okay. Baby, are you okay? I got you some things from the supermarket. They are in the car. Thanks, but I don't need them. Please dear, don't be like this. They are really nice things I bought. I got you toiletries too. I am not interested, Lorraine. You can take them to Annabelle or whatever her name is. Baby, I know you are still very angry with me for what I did. Trust me, I regret all my actions. Please forgive me. I am not angry with you. It's just that I can't share with a girl old enough to be my daughter. I'd rather quit this marriage and let it happen. Please don't say that. You know how important you are to me. As a matter of fact, I contacted our lawyer. I will go meet him tomorrow so he can start processing the divorce papers. Baby, please, I'm begging you. Please forgive me. 
I don't want to lose you. Please, don't leave me. I shouldn't leave you. You should be happy about my decision, so you can bring in your new wife comfortably. I promise never to cheat on you again. I will let go of Annabelle. Please, don't leave me. I love you and my son so much. What is the problem, Annabelle? You have been moody since morning. You have refused to talk to me. It's nothing. Don't bother yourself. How can you tell me not to bother myself when my ever-vibrant Annabelle is in a bad mood? Tell me who got you angry since morning. Is he not that Lawrence of a man? I don't even know what is wrong with him these days. What happened? He has been acting strange and it seems like he's trying to avoid me. But why? Tell him not to try such nonsense. Though. Not now that I am also benefiting from his money, he wants to play smart. I am so worried. I tried calling him throughout yesterday morning, but his line wasn't reachable. Why didn't you continue trying it now? I did, and his number eventually went through. He refused speaking any of my calls, even till today. That's strange. Why not go to his office and see him? That is what I will do, because I don't understand this is new attitude. Man, I can't believe things work like this. Dominic lost this girl with all his heart and this is how she wants to repay him. This is one reason why I can never give a woman all my trust. Who would have thought that the woman Dominic has been praising is a snake in a green grass? Come to think of it, she offered her body willingly to me without demanding for anything. Now I am confused if I should do it or not. Dominic has never betrayed me before. He has never been a bad friend to me. All he ever does is to support me as his brother. No, I don't think it is right to sleep with the woman he loves so much. But even if I do, he will never find out because it will only be between Rita and I. Rita will not say a word to him because she wouldn't risk losing him. And I will not say a word to him because I value our friendship. Men, I really have to think deep about this. Hi darling. Anabe, what are you doing here? Why didn't you tell me you would be coming to my office? How would I have told you when you refused picking my calls since yesterday? I have been very busy lately. I couldn't pick your calls because I was in an important meeting. So, I guess you were still in a meeting till today, right? Because I have been calling since morning, yet no response from you. Why are you here? Do you want me to do something for you? Cut me that bullshit, Lawrence. Do I look like a child to you? Why do I feel like you are avoiding me? And why am I supposed to know why you feel that way? You know what? Go home. I will send some money to your account this evening. I will not leave until you tell me what the problem is. I want to know why you are avoiding me. The problem is that I need some space. I need space to breathe. I need space to walk. Please just give me a little space for a while. We'll continue when I'm done with the new project at hand. You need space, right? No problem. Now my mornings ain't heavy. Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy. Love watching all the color rush back into my cheeks. What took you so long to get here? Sorry, I was with Dominic in my house. He refused to go early, so I had to wait for him to leave first. Have a seat. We have to talk. Alright, I guess you're done thinking about what I told you the other day. I'm so eager to know if you're in or not. Let me first of all ask you, why do you choose me out of the many men that are out there? Because I like you, Richard. I will not be able to do this with a man I don't like. And you are perfect for it. I am your man's friend. Yet you chose to let me sleep with you. You chose to let me betray my friend. He will never find out about it, trust me. I love Dominic, but he seems he doesn't want to do the right thing. So I will help him do the right thing. This is not the right thing, Rita. This is pure betrayal and I will not be a party to it. Wow. Dominic has been with me through thick and thin. I will not let a woman come between us. Are you sure you don't want to be the first to sleep with me before it gets to Dominic? I am not interested. My friendship with Dominic is more important. Alright then, if you ever change your mind, you know how to find me and you have my phone number. Sweetheart, good evening dear. Good evening Lawrence. Welcome back from work. How was work today? It was a bit stressful, but when I thought about you and how beautiful you are, everything became easy for me. Okay, oh, good for you. How about you? How was your own day? 
I guess it was lonely as usual. Yes, it was, but I didn't really feel it. I was busy with some chores. Okay, there. So, what is in for dinner? Which dinner? My dear, there's nothing for dinner. I cooked a very little quantity of rice and I finished it this evening. So, there is nothing else left. Why now? But you know I'll be coming back from work this evening. I'll be very, very tired and hungry. But I didn't know you were request for dinner. When was the last time you ate my food? Whenever I cooked for you, it would always waste. So give me one reason why I should have cooked dinner today. Try, Brenda. You seem not to have forgiven me entirely. Please forgive me now. Let's go back to how we used to be. I am still hurting for what you did, Lawrence. You were the least expected to hurt me. Please forgive me. It will never happen again. So what about that Annabelle of the girl? Are you still seeing her? I already ended things with her. I will never think of such act again. Please give me another chance. It's okay, honey. I have forgiven you. Been getting kinda used to Living life without you I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be I could say I miss you what is it again, Annabelle? It seems the only thing you do these days is to get angry. Why won't I be angry? How could he tell me to give him space? Give him space for what exactly? Are you sure you did not offend him in any way? Of course not. You should have seen the way I treated the old man. I made sure he felt loved so he could continue wiring my account with money. Now, wow. So what would be the problem? Do you know the most painful part? The fact that he promised to send money to me when I went to see him in his office. Till today. I haven't seen any credit alert. Calm down, dear. If he's asking for space, why not give it to him? How can I give it to him, Lucy? What will my life turn to if he stops sending money to me? You know I am no longer working for him. I will end up being broke. But he's not calling. It's quite with you now. He only said you should give him his space. They are two different things. I am not happy at all. I need Lawrence in my life. I don't want to stress myself and work. He gave me the baby girl life I have always wanted. But now he wants to walk away. Don't worry, just go and see him again. So he could tell you what exactly he wants because he cannot just demand for a space all of a sudden. without you i gotta tell you it's better than i ever thought i didn't know you are such a great cook my love thank you for making wonders in the kitchen oh come on stop making me blush hard you know cooking is not that hard and i'm a lady what do you expect thank you very much i ate my satisfaction so now that you're satisfied do you mind coming with me to the bedroom why not don't you want to sit here i think it is better we sit here or probably see some movies together don't be daft, Dominic. You know why I want you to come with me to the bedroom? No, I don't. Wait, is it what I'm thinking? We've been dating for a long time. Yet you have never touched me. Am I not attractive enough? Where is this coming from? What do you mean, where is this coming from? Am I a stick? Why can't you make me feel like a woman, even for once? I'm sorry, Rita, but I can't. Why are you acting as if you're a virgin? I am sick and tired of this kind of relationship. Marry me, you said no. Touch me, you still say no. What is really your problem? Why are you getting angry? Why won't I be angry? Who would be happy in this kind of situation? Sometimes I wonder if you're a man. Calm down, Rita. My own policy is never to sleep with a woman I am not married to. Then you will end that policy because of me. Lawrence, why did you tell your secretary not to let me into your office whenever I come? What are you doing here, Annabelle? Didn't I tell you to give me space? Answer my question, Lawrence. Why did you tell your secretary not to let me in? Because I already told you not to come here. Why can't you respect my decisions for once? Did you just say respect? How will I respect you when you don't reciprocate the respect? What have I really done to you, Lawrence? From today henceforth, Annabelle, you are not allowed to refer to me as Lawrence. I am old enough to be your father, so be respectful. This is serious. What is going on? Are you really tired of me? My wife and I are back together and I realize how important my family is to me. I can't afford to lose them. So what are you saying? I'm no longer interested in whatever you think we are doing. I want to be faithful to my wife. Wow, just wow.
after leading me on, you decided to go back to your wife. Wow. I'm really sorry, Annabelle. It is what it is. I am no longer interested in the relationship. Please stay away from me and my wife. I will not back out easily unless you pay me off. How much do you want? Two million naira. I will transfer it into your account this evening. I don't have a check with me here. I will be waiting. <laughs> Guy, what's the problem? I saw Rita leaving your house angrily. Sincerely speaking, I am shocked at Rita's attitude. I hate to tag her desperate, but that is how she is. What did she do this time around? Is she still pressurizing you to marry her? No bro, it is not about marriage. I don't know if I should tell you or not. We don't keep secrets from each other. Besides, if you tell me, who knows, I might have a solution to it. She wanted me to sleep with her, but I said no. She angrily left the house. I've been calling her, but she refused to pick. Of course, she won't pick up because she is still angry with you. So what do you want to advise me to do, bro? I really love this girl. And at the same time, I don't want to sleep with her until we are married. Why are you acting weak? Just imagine that a woman is the one begging you to sleep with her. Come on, bro. That doesn't make you look like a man. But it is something I promised myself not to do. You know me well, Dominic. In my past relationship, I never let pressure make me do what I don't want to. Maybe that is why your relationship doesn't last. You have to loosen up, Dominic. Give her what she wants. <laughs> Henry, are you okay? I came as soon as I saw your message that you're very sick. Thank you very much for coming, Rita. You don't look sick to me. Are you really sick or you played a prank on me again? <laughs> I can't believe you still care so much about me. I'm glad you rushed down here. What is all this? I don't even know why I trusted you this time. You have pulled this stunt with me so many times, yet I don't want to learn. I miss you so much, Rita. I just wanted to see your face one last time before you get married. That's right. Now that you have seen my face, can I go now? Please stay with me for a while. What exactly are you owing home to do? Stay here, please. My man told me he would pick me up from the house this evening. I don't want him to get home before me. You are always talking about him. Are you trying to get me jealous or what? Of course not. I'm only giving you reasons why I should head home. Well, unfortunately, you won't be going back home today. Why not? I want you to spend the night with me, Peter. I miss you so much. I want to be with you, even if it is the last time. You want me to spend the night with you? Yes dear, let's just have fun with each other since you will be getting married, even if this will be our last. This is the opportunity I've been waiting for. I will not hesitate to grab it. I will persuade Henry to sleep with me and hopefully if I get pregnant, then good for me. Rita, are you okay? Yes I am. I will spend the night with you. You didn't come pick me up like you promised. I waited for so long. Sorry dear. I had a lot on my mind. I forgot I was supposed to come pick you up. It's okay. You don't look exactly happy. Is everything okay with you? Did you go see your sugar daddy like you said? Yes, I did. He is no longer my sugar daddy. Why? What happened? Did he call it quits with you? Yes, he did. He claimed he wants to be faithful to his wife and he wants to end everything with me. That's so sad. I don't believe him. I am sure he has another girl. That is why he wants to discard me. So you mean it is not possible for him to get back with his wife and love her? I didn't say it is not, but it is too sudden for him to love his wife again to the point of ending our relationship. It is possible. I believe he got between your legs and then he got tired of you. Whatever. I don't care about him either. It's not like I felt something for him. I only loved him because of his money. So now that you are no longer with him, you have to start looking for a job that will sustain you. I don't need to look for a job now. He transferred to million naira into my account. Wow. It's a huge amount. Yes, that amount will be enough for now. Dominic, what are you doing in my house? Welcome, dear. You sound like we are quarreling. Have you forgotten you told me to come whenever I want to? Where is my friend Bella? She left a few minutes ago. She wants to get something down the road. She will be back soon. You haven't still told me what you are doing here. I came to see you, of course. Where have you been? I came earlier this morning, but your friend told me you weren't at home. I went to see an old friend of mine. You should have called to inform you you were coming. You would have said no to me, so I decided to come after all. You know I'm not happy with you. Tell me what to do to get this awful mood off you. You know what I want, Dominic. If you can't give me what I want, then let me be. I don't have time for too much talks. Tell me, Rita, is that the only reason why you are with me? I thought you said you love me. What is love when we can't make each other happy? Then I'm sorry to disappoint you. I can't give in to what you're asking of me. I'll not touch a woman I'm not married to. Oh, really? I have to take my leave.
Felix, my son, you don't know how happy you always make me feel whenever I talk to you on the phone. I know mom. I'm also happy to hear from you too. Where is dad? I would like to hear from him as well. Your father is outside with a visitor. Don't worry, I will inform him you called. Okay mom, I have a good news for the both of you. Good news? Wow, I can't wait to hear it. First of all, before I say it, how is dad treating you? Is he still talking about marrying a second wife? No, my son. Your father is a different man now. Our family is back to being the way it used to be. I feel so happy and satisfied. That is good because I threatened him I would never return if he went ahead with his plans. <laughs> no wonder he was shaken. All that was in the past. Let's pretend nothing of such happened. So what is the good news you want to tell me? I want to inform you that I'll be coming back tomorrow. Are you serious? Wow, I can't wait to see you my son. It's been over five years you left the country. I can't wait to see you too mom. Please do well to inform dad about it. My flight is scheduled 1pm. Hopefully I'll be back before night falls. Don't worry, I'll prepare your favorite meal. Take care my son. Thanks mom, I have to go now. Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy yeah. I love watching all the color rush back into my I can sense the air around you You seem to be very happy this evening What's with the happy face? <laughs> now that I am happy you are complaining If I am not happy you will still complain Of course, I need to ask why my wife is so happy Especially if it's because of another man Come on Lawrence, I am not a young girl anymore Besides, you need to cut down with this your jealousy Yes, you are not a young girl anymore, but you will always be the young girl I married. Yes, honey, but I want you to know that you are the only one that makes me so happy. No other man can make me feel this way. So, I am the reason why you are happy now? I just got off the phone with your son. He said I should inform you he will be back tomorrow evening. Really? Wow, that is a great news. We will finally see our son after a very long time. Yes, dear. I'm so happy. I'll go to the market first thing tomorrow morning. I'll cook his favorite meal for him. Oh God, now that he'll be back, I'll have to share my wife with him. <laughs> if you have to share, then you have no choice, especially when it comes to him. You both are blessings to me. I love you both so much. I love you too, my king. Come back to see Dominic here. I left him to go open my shop. Couldn't stay with him. Yes, I saw him, but you shouldn't have left like that. I mean, you don't really know him. You shouldn't leave strangers all alone like that. But you both are in a relationship, so he is not a stranger. He is a stranger to you. Besides, you should have told him to go, since I wasn't around. Is everything okay? You seem a bit moody. Nothing is wrong there. I guess I'm just tired of men and their troubles. I want to be left alone. Is Dominic causing you trouble? I will confront him if he's hurting you. No, he's not hurting me. It's normal to have a misunderstanding with the person you love. He shouldn't dare cross his boundary. I will inform him. I will be traveling tomorrow. I'll be back before next week. I won't stay really long. You're traveling? Why now? You know how lonely it is to stay in this house alone. Don't worry. I'll be back before you know it. Besides, you have Dominic. So you shouldn't be complaining of loneliness. I beg, leave Dominic, Joe. My son, I missed you so much. I am so happy you are finally home after such a long time. Yes, mom. I am happy to be home too. But a lot has changed. It seems you changed the setting of this house. You should ask your father that. He keeps changing things in this house every now and then. <laughs> Dad never disappoints. Mom, you look so healthy. Your husband is really taking good care of you. You are not looking bad, my dear. Your father will be amazed at how rapidly you have grown. Five years is a long time, so it is normal for you to see some changes in me. But you seem to be aging backwards. You haven't changed in now, always praising your mother in every slightest opportunity that you have. You are the first woman in my life, so I have to praise you. What about that? Didn't you tell him I would be coming back today? I did. He stepped out a few minutes ago to his company to get something. He will be back soon. Okay, mom. You must be tired. Come in, let me fix you something to eat. Your room is already prepared. You will like it when you see it. Okay, mom. I will ask you again, Dominic. What are you doing in my house? I thought you were angry with me. I am really sorry, Rita, for what happened between us. I am really sorry, please. You stopped calling me for a long time. At some point, I thought maybe you moved on. Then you still do not have any idea how much I love. It was really hard for me those few days. I didn't hear your voice. Did you just say a few days? It was almost a week. I'm sorry, Rita. 
It's really hard to stay away from you. Tell me what you want me to do for you and I will do it. I want us to be back together. You know what I want, Dominic. Apart from that one, you know I cannot grant your request. Request for something else and I will not hesitate to grant it. Let's get married. Apart from that one. Then what exactly do you want from me? You can't even grant any of my requests. Yet you are telling me to make a request. I'm sorry, Rita, but you are making a wrong request. I already told you to give me time. We will get married when it's time. I am not happy with you at all. I'm so sorry, my love. My son, once again, welcome back to Nigeria. I know you miss this country so much. I missed it so much, especially this house. Truly, there is absolutely no place like home. You are welcome. I know you bought so many goodies for your mother. I hope you remember to buy mine too. <laughs> of course, Dad. How could I forget to get you something? Everything is in my room. I will show them to you. Alright, my son. Would you come back home alone? Yes, of course. Were you expecting me to come back with someone? Of course, you were supposed to come back with someone. You just disappointed me, son. <laughs> what are you talking about? You are supposed to come back with your white woman. Or you want to tell me you are not in any relationship over there? Of course not. I had a motive for going there and all my mindset was in what I went there for. You're not getting any younger, Felix. I know, but you should know me better. I love our black women more and I have always hoped to get married to a black woman. Now that you're in Nigeria, you have to make a move. You are our only child. You have to bring forth new family members. Yes, Dad. <laughs> Annabelle, my love, the only sugar in my tea. How are you doing, bestie? Stop with all these praises and go straight to the point. I know you want to ask me for something. Abba, now. So I can't praise my best friend anymore. I just feel like praising you because you are truly those things I mentioned, the only sugar in my tea. Have it in mind that whatever you want to ask, I don't have. So you are really sure I'm here because I needed favor from you? That is true, Sha. But you don't have to start telling me you don't have one you don't even know what I want to ask. What is it, Lucy? You know I was enjoying my time alone. Say what you want to say and let me be, please. Annabelle, please, I need some money. I haven't been paid yet and I'm broke already. How much do you need? Can you help me out with 50k? Okay, just go. I will withdraw when I get to the bank today. Can you do transfer instead? I think it will take longer if you want to redraw and can you make it 100k look at this big girl i even agreed to give you 50k yet you are not satisfied please now let me see what i can do hafa let's go to the stadium today there is no work today and there is no point staying at home i'm not in the mood to watch football i want to go and see rita this evening you and this your rita i thought you both quarreled have you reconciled with her Yes, I went to see her and I talked things out with her. I hate it when she's angry or sad because of me. Then do what she wants. If you truly want to make her happy, why not fulfill her wish? I'll marry her instead. I really love that girl, bro. I'm scared someone might take her away from me. You want to marry her because you are scared and not because you are ready. I want to marry her because I'm ready. I want to settle down. I have observed her enough and I have come to the conclusion that she's the one for me. That's good news. Congratulations in advance. Hi, good afternoon to you. Good afternoon to you too. How may I help you? Um, my name is Felix. Do you live in this environment? Yes, I do. I went to get something down the road. Now I am heading home. Is there a problem? There's no problem. I was here when you passed the first time to get something. So I decided to wait for your return. Oh, I didn't notice your presence. But why are you standing here? I came here with my dad. He has a meeting with one of his clients, so I decided to come out and look around. All right then, you can go ahead and look around. We have beautiful things here to feed the eyes. I can see that and you are not excluded. You are very beautiful. Can I know your name? My name is Annabelle. Wow, Annabelle. Such a beautiful name for a beautiful girl like you. May I walk you down to your house? No problem. I don't mind at all. Finally, we are here. 
Welcome to my house, Felix. The distance seemed short at first, only for us to walk 10 more minutes. It seems you're not used to using your leg to go somewhere far. You are always in your car. Exactly. That was why I bought an extra car in case the old one starts giving me issues. Same here. I wanted to use my car, but I decided to trek because it's been a while I did exercise. You are beautiful, Annabelle. When you passed the first time, I couldn't stop staring at you. Thank God you didn't use your car else. I won't be able to talk to you. <laughs> I know, right? You're not looking bad at all, Felix. And you have a good sense of humor. Thank you. I have to go now. Remember I told you I came with my dad to see a client. Let me go check if he's done. And I thought you would have lunch with me. I wish I could stay. Don't worry, I won't say no next time. I have to go there. All right, let me see you off. Thank you. <laughs> Dad, how could you live without waiting for me? Where are you coming from, Felix? You made me wait for you for such a long time. You couldn't even call to tell me you were leaving. I'm sorry, Dad, but I thought the meeting would last longer. I didn't know it would end soon. I took you there to introduce you to my clients, for you to see how things are done. The next minute, you disappeared into thin air. I only went to look around. I've been out of Nigeria for a long time, so I have to familiar with wherever I go to. Not without my knowledge. I'm sorry about that. Next time we go out for a meeting, I'll try most as possible to stay at a place. Better. So what was the meeting all about? And I hope you succeeded in whatever it is you went there for. They brought a business proposal to our company. They want to build a branch. So they want to partner with us so we could fund the project. I guess we will have some shares in the company. Yes, our company will have 40% shares. It is enough to grow our company. That is nice. I am proud of you, Dad. You are really an ambitious man. Thank you, son. Go in and get me a glass of water. Okay. My love, I know you are wondering what I want to see. But take a deep breath first before I tell you. Oh, Dominic. Can you please stop this? You told me you have a good news for me. Why can't you say it at once? <laughs> Someone is really anxious to hear what I want to say. But can you take a deep breath? Fine. Just tell me, please. I'm already losing my patience. I want to tell you that you should look for a very good wedding planner because we have a wedding to plan. What wedding? Our wedding, of course. Don't you want us to get married anymore? Is this a joke or what? Stop with this expensive prayer, please. You know I am not joking. I am very serious, my sunshine. I am ready to settle down. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Oh, so you're finally ready. This is the best news I have heard since morning. But this is not the way to propose to a lady. You know it is of no use proposing to you because you both know what your answer will be. It doesn't matter. But I don't care, Sha. All that matters is that we will be together. Yes, baby. I can't wait for that day. <laughs> This place is beautiful, Felix. Thank you for bringing me here. I was already feeling bored at home. I am glad I made you happy by coming to pick you up. I noticed someone peeping at us by the window. Are you staying with someone? Yes, she's my best friend. She's stranded at the moment, so she begged to squat with me. Don't worry, she is a very nice person. I know. I only asked because I didn't see her the last time I came there. She was not yet back from work. Don't worry, I will introduce you to her soon. I will never forget to compliment you today. You are naturally beautiful, Annabelle, and I love your height too. Ah, when will you ever stop complimenting me? You make me shy sometimes. I don't think I will ever get tired of complimenting you. As long as you continue being this beautiful, then I will always tell you something sweet. You are not looking bad at all. You are handsome, Felix. That feels so good, especially when it came from you. So can you please tell me about yourself? I want to get to know you more. There is nothing much about me. Only that I am the only child and my parents based in the eastern part. Wow, what a coincidence. I'm also an only child. My parents can be very protective sometimes, but they shower me with all the love they can give. That is nice of them. I can't remember the last time I saw my parents. But why not try to visit them sometimes? Nothing is more important than family. 
I know. I came here to work. I will try to see them before the year runs out. <laughs> Hey girl, gosh, I am so tired. Madam, where did you go to today? I saw you today living with a man in a red car. Where did you go to? Can you imagine the audacity to ask me where I went to and to inform me you saw me with a man? Are you the one that will marry me? Man, babe, that guy is a big coach. Did you see the car he drove to come pick you up? You don't need to tell me, my dear. He took me to a very fancy eatery. I was there forming posh. Everything I did was elegant and classy. Who is he? I met him a few days ago when I went to get something at the supermarket. Ever since then, we have been talking on the phone. And trust me when I say he is a very sweet guy. Chai, Annabelle, you are always lucky when it comes to guys. When will I ever have someone as fine as that? Maybe you will stay in the house and have a man. When you leave this house in the morning, it is to work straight. And when you close from work, it is to the house straight. So what do you want me to do? Should I start working on the road like a lost sheep? At least once in a while, wear something nice and stroll out. I will try it tomorrow. If there was one thing I missed the most about you, it is your cooking skills, mom. I missed your food. It is normal, especially if you are not used to their own pattern of food. I'm glad you like it. Did you just... Thank you, my son. Don't worry, I will cook more food for you. This is the same way your dad loves my food. Speaking of dad, where is he? I haven't seen him ever since I woke up. He rushed to the company very early this morning. He won't be back until evening. You can go there and see him later in the day. I don't feel like going. You have to learn to be at the company at all times because he will soon retire and you will take over. I don't think I am ready for it. I hope he doesn't retire soon. You don't have a choice, Felix. That will be your company soon, so you need to find your wife and then get used to the things happening in the company. I will go there later in the evening, but for now, I need some rest. Yes, sir. I've been getting kinda used to living life without you. I gotta tell you, it's better than I ever thought it could be. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue. And being Baby, I think this time I come to your village with my people so that the traditional rites will be conducted. That's right. But the problem is, I have not discussed it with my parents yet. The engagement is still very fresh, and I haven't been able to talk to them. Did you just say the engagement is still fresh? You are the one getting all worked up about getting married. And now that the opportunity is here, you feel so relaxed. It's not like that now. I tried talking to my dad the other day, but he was so busy. Same with my mom. I will come them this evening. Please, you have to talk to them as soon as possible. My parents are busy too. I will take you to see them by next week. Wow. I can't wait to meet my future father and mother-in-law. I just pray they should like me. What is there not to like? You are a very wonderful and loving person. My mom is a simple person too. You both will get along easily. How are your sisters? I hope I get along with them too. Don't worry, they will all like you. All you have to do now is to find a way and talk to your parents. Or better still, go to the village and see them. I will do that, my love. I don't mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't wanna go back and forth when I know I deserve much more. Ooh. Good evening to you too. Oh, I think I know you. You are the guy that come to take Annabelle out the other day. Yes, I came to take her out. We are you the one that peeped through the window? Sorry for my manners. I was only curious to know the person she was going out with. It's alright. Then that makes you a good friend. You can say that again. Thank you so much. I already called Annabelle. She told me to wait for her here. I was even about to tell you she's not at home. I called her before coming. So what is your name? My name is Lucy. I know your name already. You are Felix, right? I can see you and your friend have talked a lot about me. Yes, my name is Felix and you have a lovely name. Thanks to you. So what can I offer you? No, don't bother yourself. I'll just wait for her to arrive. I believe she's already on her way. Chai, see person picking. See us he fine. I wish he's here for me. I really like this guy.
babe how far now oh bella you are back i thought you said you returned tomorrow well i had no reason to stay there anymore so i had to come back and you told me you weren't feeling well so i became worried so when did you return not too long sha but when i came back you were sleeping so i decided to wait for you to wake up how are you feeling now my dear i'm not getting any better i just want to sleep all day when did all this start i don't even know you know how it is when malaria wants to start it will give you faint symptoms then it will grow to something else sorry dear don't worry i'll get you some drugs at the hospital i already went to the pharmacy this evening but it was closed so i came back i'll go back again this evening is dominic aware of this yes he came to check on me this morning he promised to come back when he closes from work don't worry you'll be fine there is a hospital close by we can quickly go there to know how far the malaria has gone so you would know the kind of drugs to take is it even necessary i think there is one drug to cure malaria no matter what stage it is no dear your face looks pale which means it might have gone deeper let's go for checkup all right dear Back in I don't want to believe what the doctor said, Rita. Tell me it is not true. Say something to clarify this. Well, you heard the doctor. He said it clearly. I am two weeks pregnant. What more do you want me to say? But Rita, I thought we agreed to keep ourselves for the men that will eventually marry us. It is not my fault, Bella. I was just desperate to get married to Dominic. Or should I say, make him marry me. So you slept with Dominic? No, I slept with Henry. What? You slept with your ex? How could you be so loose, Rita? What is wrong with you? Don't you dare call me loose, Bella. You are not better than me. Now look at the mess you have put yourself into. How do you intend to tell Dominic you are pregnant for your ex? I will not tell Dominic anything. What are you saying, Rita? You called me the other day to tell me Dominic proposed to you. What do you intend to do with this pregnancy? I will abort it, of course. If I had known Dominic would propose to me soon enough, I wouldn't have gone back to Henry. But it was just a one-time stuff. I am not included with this. You better let Dominic know the truth. I will not participate nor support you to abort an innocent child. Madam Holier than thou, I will abort this child myself. I don't need your help. <laughs> you will never stop to amaze me, Felix. You are such a funny guy. Thank you for always making me laugh. I enjoy your company more than anything on earth. I always feel so happy whenever I am with you. Oh, you have made me blush a thousand times already today. I really like you, Felix. I don't really like you, Annabelle. I'm in love with you. I can't stop thinking about you. If I don't hear your voice for a day, then I won't be happy for the rest of the day. Oh, I didn't know God would lead me to a man that is so good with words. I'm not good with words. I only tell you how I really feel. Annabelle, I don't want to be your friend anymore. I want to be more than friends with you. Are you serious? And I don't want to be in a relationship with you. I want to marry you immediately. Are you proposing to me? Yes, dear. Please do me the honor of being my wife. I don't want to waste time in being in a relationship. When I see the woman I love, I make it official without thinking twice. You are the one I want. Yes, Felix. I love you and I will marry you. Baby, are you okay? I saw Bella in the sitting room. She told me you are in the bedroom. Yes. Are you just closing from work? Yes, dear. I was worried all through the day, especially when you told me you were sick. You don't have to worry, dear. I'm a big girl. I can take care of myself. How are you feeling now? Have you taken drugs? I can get you some drugs if you want. No, don't bother yourself. I bought some malaria drugs already. But baby, you should go to the hospital to know what exactly is wrong. We don't have to stay at home and guess what is wrong. Don't worry, dear. I already went for checkup. The doctor confirmed it's malaria and he prescribed some drugs for me. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I pray so, because seeing you in a pitiful form like this is one thing I hate the most. You're just worrying yourself too much. Relax. Your baby will be fine. Okay, if you say so. I already told my parents about you. My mom is very eager to see you and she's happy about the news. I can't wait to see her too, but we have to postpone the date. Let's wait until I get better. So Felix, you said you have something to tell us. Hopefully, something that will make us happy. I'm curious to know what that could be. But please, in everything you want to say, don't tell us you want to leave Nigeria again. <laughs> no, mom. I will not leave Nigeria anymore. This is my country. I am happy to be here. That is good. So what do you want to tell us? Dad, you remember our first conversation when I returned to Nigeria? 
We said so many things. Oh, I don't know the one you are talking about. Remember you said you were disappointed since I returned alone. You were hoping I would return with my fiancé. You and your dad had such conversation. Lawrence, I thought you were not really interested if your son would stay single forever. Well, I didn't care. But he is not getting any younger. As a caring father, I am. I have to be worried. And you remember what I said. I told you I will marry an African queen. I will marry from my culture. And guess what? I found a wife already. You found a wife? Wow. This is what I have waited for so long to hear from you. Who is she? And why haven't you brought her home yet? I wanted to discuss with you both first. You have done well, my son. You are the real son of your father. Thank you, dad. So when do you think you will be free for me to bring her over? Just fix a date and we will be there. Thanks, dad. I mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't Baby, Alpha, you have been sitting here for quite a while now. Are you okay? Do you know what your problem is? You will never mind your business in this house. You must meddle. I'm not meddling now. I am only concerned you've been sitting here for an hour now and you seem worried. It's not like I am worried. I am just missing someone. Missing someone, okay? Don't tell me you are missing Felix, someone that left barely an hour ago. So what if I miss him? Is it a crime? No, but you seem to have fallen for this guy. Annabelle, the love is written all over your face. You can't blame me, Lucy. I didn't know I would fall for him so easily. It is very hard for me to ask him for money. Me, that was a hard girl. I'm really surprised to hear this, so finally someone captured my best friend's heart. I am happy to hear this. Thank you, dear. He proposed to me. He asked me to marry him. He did what? Don't tell me you accepted his proposal. Of course I did. Is there a problem with that? We both love each other, so what is there to delay? But it's all sudden now. You don't even know him. Allow me to worry about that. I love him and I will marry him. What kind of problem is this now? Why does this pregnancy have to happen now? This is a very wrong timing. How I wish that Dominic of a guy agreed to sleep with me, even if he's just once. I wouldn't think of aborting an innocent child. All oh, this is his fault. How come he decided to propose to me when I'm already pregnant for another man? I'm in this mess because of him. I only wanted to get pregnant and force him to sleep with me so I can pin the pregnancy on him and force him to marry me. If I had known, I would have just waited a little bit longer. Well, there's no two ways about it. I will abort this child. But first of all, I have to inform Henry about it. Is it even necessary? Don't it complicate things? Let me just tell him, Sha. After all, he's the father of the child. My love, I am so happy that you are here. I knew you would come since you didn't pick my calls in the morning. I am so sorry, dear. My dad forced me to go to the company with him. I was engaged in a little work. I didn't hear my phone ring all through. Your father owns a company? Wow, you must be from a very wealthy family. Yes, my dad is rich. I can't say the same about me. I don't like depending on my father's money. That is why I work hard for mine. That is nice. I hope you're not stressed. I could give you a massage if you want. Thank you, dear. I'm not really stressed. It was just an introduction to the staffs and to show me how things are done there. Okay, dear. I hope you are ready to see my parents. Don't tell me it is today. No, dear, but it is in two days' time. I hope you are ready for them. My mom has been asking about you ever since I told her. <laughs> that is so sweet. But the problem is that I don't have what to wear. I need money to buy new clothes. Okay, baby, don't worry yourself. I'll transfer one million naira to your account so you could change your wardrobe. Thank you very much, dear. Just listen to her laughing with all her lungs out. Nothing good lasts forever. Very soon, this one will end like her other previous relationship. I don't even know why men keep choosing her over me. It is not like she is beautiful. I am more beautiful and responsible like her. Just imagine someone like Felix to fall for a woman like her. Child, this thing is too painful. Why can't this man just look my way for once? Even after all the green lights I showed to him, he still turned blind eyes to it. I know my own man will come soon and he will be more handsome and better than this idiot called Felix. He's not even man enough to ask me why I've been eyeing. You both deserve each other after all. Harry, I need to talk to you. It's very important. My love, it's been a long time I saw you. How are you doing? Please, I'm not here for all those pleasantries. I have something more important to tell you. What is it? I am pregnant. Oh, wow. Congratulations, dear. Your fiance must be very happy to hear this. This is a good news. Stop this nonsense, Harry. Why are you pretending like you don't know this child is yours? 
I don't understand you, Rita. Shebe, you said you will be getting married soon. Then how come the pregnancy is mine? Have you forgotten that you begged me to spend the night with you? I guess you have forgotten what happened that day. <laughs> you are so funny, Rita. So just that night we had fun. Pregnancy is already here. So what were you expecting from it? My dear, pregnancy comes after sex. And this pregnancy is yours. That is not my child. You better take it to the owner. What do you mean this is not your child? I wanted to abort this baby, but because of your denial, I will prove to you that this baby is yours. I know myself, Rita. I don't let myself get carried away in the act. I am very careful, so as to avoid this problem, yet you still found a way to bring it to me. You better think of someone else you slept with. I will not let you make me look like a fool. I will prove to you that this is your child. Hey girl, you have been in this room for hours now. Are you sure you are okay? I'm okay. Do you mind leaving me alone for a while? What is this one? Why is your face like this? Tell me who got you annoyed and I will deal with that person. Nobody got me annoyed, Annabelle. I'm just tired from work and I need some rest. Okay, before I rest, I have a good news for you. Guess what, my darling? What is it? Felix promised to send a million naira to my account, but he ended up sending two million naira. Okay. What is okay? Are you not happy for me? Of course I'm happy. Two million naira is such a huge amount of money this period. Exactly. I won't touch that money until our wedding period. I will use it to acquire a fascinating wedding gown for myself. Congratulations there. I can see that you both love each other. Yes, I love him so much. I will be going to see his parents in two days. I'm happy for you. Why have you not been picking my calls, Henry? Has it gotten to a point where you now ignore my calls? What do you want to tell me again, Rita? Shebe, I told you I am not the father of that child you are carrying. Then who got me pregnant if not you? Whether you like it or not, you are responsible for this pregnancy. You will have to deal with it yourself. I am not a careless man, and you know it. Why didn't I get you pregnant all these years we have been together? Why would I want to do that now? Because you are angry that I will be getting married, and you want me back. Have you forgotten how you were always in my house, begging to at least see my face? Come off with Twitter. Have you also forgotten I called off our wedding? If not for our same genotype, we would have gotten married long ago. So why would I want to spoil your happiness by getting you pregnant? I why are you doing this, Henry? I am not asking for anything in return. I only want you to admit to being the father. Then I will abort it. I will not admit to anything because it's not true. Go and look for whoever got you pregnant and stop bothering me. Let's go for a DNA. Is it possible to do a DNA on an unborn child? Yes, it is possible. I already contacted my doctor and he confirmed we can do a DNA test even when the pregnancy is still young. Let's go there now. Alright. Guy, I'm fine, man. What did happen for house? You were literally crying on the phone. I don't even know what to say. My bones are weak. I have never been this shocked in my entire adult life. What happened? Talk to me. Rita came to my house today, but she was moody. She didn't want to stay, but I begged her to. I saw her fendling her phone many times, trying to send someone a message. She was restless. Really? It was suspicious. She kept calling a number countless times and would murmur to herself when the call ends. I went to my room to give her some space. When I came back to check on her to know if she was done, I heard her making a call. And then what happened? I found out she's pregnant for another man. What? Yes, bro. I was equally shocked when I heard her conversation on the phone. That was the last night I expected from her. This is terrible. I'm heartbroken, Richard. I feel like running away from this world. I trusted Rita so much. I didn't know she would have mind to do this to me. Calm down, bro. Ask her about it. Confront her and let her know you are already aware of it. Now that you are back from the hospital, can you please go back to your house? Why are you chasing me away, Henry? You no longer like my company in your house. I thought this was what you always wanted. I am chasing you away because I need time to think. I need some space to rest. You have exhausted me mentally by accusing me of what I did not do. Don't tell me you're still denying your child. What kind of father are you? Shouldn't you be happy you're expecting a child? I thought you said you will abort the pregnancy. Yes, I will abort it because I don't want anything that will ruin my relationship with Dominic. Especially now that we'll be getting married. Then why not abort it and stop all these things you are doing? You are only causing more problems. I will not abort it until I prove to you that you are the father of my child. I can never be mistaken. Don't wanna go back and forth when I know 
My love, where were you yesterday evening? I came to your house, but the door was locked. I went to see Richard. I spent the night there. Okay, dear. How are you doing? Your expression doesn't look good. I am not fine with her. I have some questions to ask you, and I hope you answer them sincerely. I will, my love. Do you really love me? Yes, baby. I love you so much. What do you think made me pester you to get married to me? This is because I want to be with you forever. Good. Ever since we got into this relationship, have you ever been with another man? Why would you ask me that? You promised you would answer my questions sincerely. I have never been with any other man apart from you. Are you satisfied now? Now how come about the pregnancy? What pregnancy are you talking about? Don't make me look like a fool, Rita. You are pregnant for someone else, aren't you? How? How did you find out? Really? How did I find out? Is it true? Yes or no? <laughs> Baby, please forgive me. I did it for you. You did what for me? Get out of my house this minute. told him Bella. What nonsense are you saying? Why should I tell him about it? It is your secret and if anyone should tell him, then it should be you. Then how come he knows about it? Apart from you, no one else knows I am pregnant. I swear to you, Rita, I did not tell Dominic anything. Believe me, please. I would never betray you like that. I feel so empty, Bella. Will he ever forgive me? We have a wedding ahead of us. Will he still hold? Relax, my dear Rita. What you need to do is to tell Henry about this pregnancy first. Then we can face Dominic. I already told Henry about it. Here yeah, he's denying the pregnancy, even to the point that we went to the hospital for a DNA. The result is not yet out. He is denying the pregnancy, but why would he do that? I don't know, but I'll prove to him that he's the father of the child I'm carrying. I don't mean to question you, but are you really sure Henry is the only man that you slept with during that period? I... I... Think twice about it, Rita. You cannot bring this pregnancy on an innocent man. I also slept with someone else two days after I met Henry. Who could that be? Hi mom, I'm home. Welcome my son. Wait, what are you doing with this homebreaker? Is my eyes deceiving me or what? What is this girl doing in my house? Mom, Dad, why are you both acting this way? This is the girl I told the both of you about. This is Annabelle, the girl after my heart. God forbid, Barton. She can never be the girl after your heart. You cannot settle for her. Son, you have to let her go. There are so many other girls out there. You don't have to be with her. Can someone tell me what is going on? Why are you embarrassing me like this, Dad? Do you guys know each other? Listen to us, Felix. You are our child and we will never wish you anything bad. We are telling you to send this girl away and you have to do it. I will not send her away until you both tell me why you are acting this way. She is my visitor for God's sake. A visitor that is not welcome here, Annabelle or whatever your name is, please leave this house this minute. And she is still standing here. Didn't you hear what he said? Get out of this house now. Babe, please wait. Please don't go. Come back, please. This is trouble, Lawrence. Now you have seen what you have caused. All this wouldn't have happened if you stayed faithful to your family. I'm sorry, dear. I will try to fix this. And I will never let our son marry her. She can't be in this family. Tell you it's better than I ever thought it could. Dad, Mom, what was the meaning of what you both did few minutes ago? I shouted on you to come back, Felix, but you disobeyed me. Is this how I trained you? I don't understand what all this is all about and I feel embarrassed for the way you treated my visitor. Listen to us, Felix. That girl will never be married into this family. You better start looking for someone else because your union with her will never work. I stand to disagree to what the both of you are saying. I love that girl so much and she makes me happy. Give me one reason why I shouldn't marry her. Must we have a reason before you obey us? I have always obeyed the both of you, but not this time. If you don't tell me why I should not marry the woman I love, then I will push through with the wedding. You will do no such thing. We are your parents, and without our blessings, you will not marry that girl. This is the 21st century, Dad. Everything is possible. I have every right to know why you both are against me marrying her. That is our decision, and you will stand by it. Not this time. Maybe we should tell him the truth. If we keep telling him there is no reason, then it is not enough for him to let go of her. No, honey. Please don't tell him the truth. Telling him will only bring back the past. I don't want us to remember the mistake I made. But that is the only way out for all this. Don't tell him yet. I'll find a way to settle all this. 
you better do because i will not let my son get married to a woman that did not think twice about scattering another woman's home Good day to you, Dominic. I'm happy to say that I am in the right house. Good afternoon, Bella. It is such a surprise to see you here. How did you find me? Rita gave me the address to your house. Please, can I sit? Yes, please go ahead and sit. So to what do I owe this surprise visit? First of all, what can I offer you? Nothing. I'm not here to drink and marry with you. Rita sent me here. I know, and I'm all ears. Dominic, I know what my friend did is barbaric and painful. I am not supporting her in any way. I totally condemn what she did. But don't you think you are taking this too far? I'm taking this too far? <laughs> wow. I didn't know you of all people would say that. Do you think I'm happy with the way things are going? That is the girl I wanted to get married to. I know. Ever since she left your house, she hasn't been in her right state of mind. She is critically ill and she needs you. No, she doesn't need me. She needs her baby daddy. But put yourself in my shoes, Bella. What would you have done if you were in my shoes? I know it is painful and hurtful. And I also know there is a place in your heart where you still love her. I am sorry to disappoint you. The love I had for her died the moment I heard she's pregnant from that man. So what is your point? I want to see the man that got her pregnant. <music> This is a very big mess for me. It is still like a dream to me. Man, I can't believe this too. Indeed, this world is a very small place. Who would have thought that your sugar daddy is your future father-in-law? Please, Lucy, I need your advice. I feel like I am losing my mind. I really want to do something to correct this, but nothing is coming into my mind. When you saw the both of them, what did you say to them? My dear, shock did not allow me to say anything. My lips were glued. I only stared at them argue about me staying and leaving. He felish tried to defend you. Of course he did. He stood his ground about me leaving. I left so the whole thing wouldn't escalate with something else. Chai, this is such a bad news. Now that you have finally found the man you love, your past mistake decides to stand in the way. What do you suggest I do? You don't have to do anything. Just wait for Felice to talk to you first. Then you can decide on what to do. I haven't picked any of his calls since I left. I know he will definitely ask me why his parents behaved that way. I don't even know what to tell him. If he asks you, tell him to ask his parents instead. I pray all this should come to an end soon. My love. Are you here alone? Yes, my love. Bella told me you wanted to see me. I knew you wouldn't be able to ignore me for long. What nonsense are you saying? I never told Bella to tell you to come. I told her I want to see the man that impregnated you. What for? You can settle this amicably instead of dragging other people into it. You just see other people. Be thankful I don't hit a woman. Else, I would have given you a resounding slap. All I'm saying is, telling my baby daddy to come is not necessary. After all, I'll get rid of the baby. I have made my decision, Rita. If you still want to continue this relationship, then I want to talk to the man that got you pregnant. What should I do now? I can't possibly tell him who the father of my baby is. I have to stand the ground that Henry is the father. I am still waiting for you to say something. When can I meet the man that put you in this condition? I will give you his house address. Babe, why are you frowning your face? It wasn't my intention for it to happen that way. If it wasn't your intention, then whose intention was it? I thought you told me you already told him about me. Yes, I did. Then what happened? Why did they have to embarrass me that way? That was the first time of coming to your house, yet I was humiliated and insulted. Let me ask you, Annabelle. Do you know my parents? Know your parents? Of course not. Did they tell you they know me? No, I'm just curious because my parents would never act that way for no reason. Maybe I look like someone they knew in the past. You know, sometimes people look alike. You are right. They mistook you for someone else. So what will happen to us now? Are we still going to get married? Of course, my love. My parents are just being paranoid. I will talk to them and explain to them you are not the person they think you are. So we cannot get married without their consent? No, dear. We cannot get married without their consent. But don't worry. I will talk to them. Gaiafa now, I have been waiting here for a long time. Where did you go to? Oh, so now you can come to my house whenever I am not around. You will open the door and enter. No now, you know I haven't still returned the spare keys yet. Besides, what is wrong in me waiting inside for you? Richard, allow me to rest a beg. You are not my problem. What is the problem? Where did you go to since morning? I went to see the man that got Rita pregnant, but his neighbors told me he left for work very early in the morning. 
But why do you really want to see that guy? Why not let go of Rita and move on with your life? I cannot. My inner mind is telling me to have a war with that guy. I want to know the F1 tree he had to sleep with an already engaged woman. So have you asked yourself if she was the one that offered her body to him? So what happened to him turning her down? Yes, I blame Rita for everything, but I still want to talk to that guy. I will go back there tomorrow. So what about Rita? Are you both still together? I can never be with such a loose woman. What I felt for her died instantly. Just forget about this thing and let her go peacefully. I will not forget it, Richard. I must see that guy. Good morning, mom. Good morning, my son. How was your night? I hope you slept well. I did not sleep well. I kept turning on the bed. What happened? Are you sick? Yes, I'm sick. I'm sick and tired of you and dad's attitude in this house. What exactly is going on? What are you talking about? You know exactly what I'm talking about. I tried talking to dad yesterday about Annabelle, but he just waved me off. Can you just give up on this, Felix? There are so many women out there. Why not choose one and live happily? But why? Why is it so hard for you to tell me why I should go for someone else? I love Annabelle and she's the one I want to marry. We never taught you to disobey your parents. We know what is good for you. I know what is good for myself. I can't just say I should let go of the woman I love without a reason. Don't be stubborn, Felix. Listen to us. We have a reason why we say you should stay away from her, but we can't tell you. Then I will not listen to you. It is either Annabelle or no one. Love watching all the color rush. Like I said before, Henry, I have no idea when Rita will be back. Will you wait for her or will you come back? There is no need waiting. I will drop a message with you. When she returns, you deliver it to her. Alright, no problem. What is it? Please tell her that I beg her in the name of God that she should leave me alone. Tell her to stop bothering my life. What did she do this time around? Did she come to your house again? She promised she was never going to bother you again. I don't really know what the problem is, Bella. I came back from work yesterday and my neighbor told me a certain Dominic came to see me. Oh, yes, I know Dominic. That is Rita's fiance. He dropped a message with my neighbor. He told my neighbor to inform me he wants to have a meeting with me concerning the child I will have with his fiance. Dominic said that. I was very shocked because I don't understand what is going on anymore. I told Rita that I am not the owner of the pregnancy. It's okay, Henry. Just go home. I will talk to Rita when she returns. Please, you really have to because this is getting out of hand. Take it easy. She is also as confused as I am, but I promise you that everything will be resolved soon. My problem is, whoever her fiance is, he should never try visiting me again, else I will embarrass him in a way he will not like. You have to get going. I will talk to her. Thank you. Love watching all the color rush back into magic. I know what it means to be happy now. Honey jumped off your merry go round. Got both of my. Good afternoon to you, Mr. Lawrence. Good afternoon to you too. Thank you for coming to see me in such a short notice. What is the problem? Why did you tell me to come here? I was very busy when you called. I will not take much of your time. I want to talk about your relationship with my son. I don't want to talk about it. I had no idea that Felix was your child. If I knew, I wouldn't have gotten involved with him. It is not too late to let go. You can do me the privilege of ending the relationship with him. Why? Because you are jealous or because you don't want him to find out I am the girl you cheated on your wife with. I don't want problem, Annabelle. You know my wife will never agree to Felix marrying you. The sad truth is that I have fallen in love with your son and he loves me too. I can see he is willing to fight for me. Do you think he will still fight for you when he finds out you made his mother go through pain and heartbreak? Felix loves me. I am here to make you an offer. I will pay you the sum of 5 million naira to stay away from my son. 5 million naira? Yes. 5 million naira. With 5 million naira, you can start your own business. Probably leave the city to anywhere else. Okay then, I will stay away from your son when I see the credit alert. We have a deal then. Please, where did you say she went to? She's taking too long to come back. Maybe I can go there and see her. Don't worry, she will soon be here. Are you not happy to be here? Don't you like my company? Please don't get me wrong. I'm only worried because she is not picking my calls. I enjoy your company and you also fun to be with. Oh, thank you, dear. You look stressed. You need something to eat or drink. No, don't worry yourself. I am okay. I just want to see Annabelle. You seem to really love her. Yes, I love her so much. Apart from my family, she's the only one that makes me so happy. Wow, I see. How about you? Are you engaged already? 
No, not yet, although I'm in love with someone, but the person is unaware of my love. I just hope it won't be too late for him to realize this when it's time. Why not open up and tell him? It is not that easy, but with time he will find out. How could he not notice a beautiful girl like you? Some men are naturally blind. Yes, some men are naturally blind. Well, I was busy inside. I hope you don't mind waiting here alone for her. No, I don't mind. Thank you. You're welcome. Madam, you are finally back. Where are you coming from? Do I always have to tell you about my movement all the time? Can't I have a little privacy? What kind of privacy do you want to have? As long as I am involved in this mess you put yourself, then I have the right to know. I went to see someone, Bella. Are you okay now? Henry came to the house earlier on, but you weren't around, so he dropped the message for you. What did he say? Could you imagine that Dominic actually went to see Henry in his house? Henry went to work, so he told his neighbors to inform Henry that he was there. I don't know what is wrong with that, Dominic. I already begged him to forget about what he's planning to do. Do you know you are the cause of all these things that is happening? Why not open up to the main person that got you pregnant? I cannot do that, Bella. I already went to the hospital to abort this child. But the doctor was very busy. So, aborting this innocent child, having blood on your hands, is the only way to solve this? What more do you want me to do? Anyhow you want to persuade Dominic to stay away from Henry, just do it. Because Henry was really angry when he came. I will try. My love, I tried talking to my parents again, but they are proving stubborn. I don't know what to do anymore. Why are they doing this? Don't they want to see you happy? I thought you told me you are the only child. Yes, I am. If you are the only child, then your parents should be on their feet to do anything that would make you happy. Why are they trying to deprive you of your happiness? I don't know what to do anymore, my love. I don't know what you have done to them to make them behave that way. So, you actually think I did something wrong to your parents? None of them is willing to tell me anything, so I don't know what to say. This hatred can never be ordinary. I have done nothing wrong to them. Your dad even came to see me yesterday. He offered me some money to stay away from you. My dad came to see you. How did he know where you stay? Maybe he followed you one of those days you came to see me. I have no idea how he got to know where I stay. So he offered you money to stay away from me? Yes, he did. That was when I knew it was serious. I will not take this anymore. My love, please take it easy. Oh. Dad, how could you? How could you be callous to this point? Young man, watch your tongue. I will not have you insult me in my house. So watch it. What have I really do? Can you calm yourself down and sit down? Let's talk. I cannot sit down because I'm very angry. I demand to know why all this is happening. She told me you offered her money to stay away from me. Is it true? Yes, I offered her some money. Sit down, let me explain my actions and why we won't allow you to marry her. I'm all ears. Let me know if the reason is worth all this drama. Hmm, I don't know how to say this, but Annabelle is the same girl I cheated on your mom with. What? Yes, my son. What I felt for her was lust, not love. I was tempted to marry her, but then I realized how important you and your mom are to me. Annabelle is the same girl mom complained on the phone to me about? Yes, she is. That is why your mother will never accept her in this family. Annabelle claims she doesn't know the both of you. And she kept making it look like you hate her for no just cause. That is the reason, my son. Please, find someone else. Your mother will never accept her because she reminds us of the past. Rita, please, go straight to the point and stop beating around the bush. Why are you here? Come on, Dominic. Am I no longer welcome in your house? Why the cold treatment? I am not cold to you. It's just that I have somewhere important to go. So please, can you come back later? Where do you want to go? Can I join you? I want to visit your baby daddy. Do you still want to come with me? Can you please stop this, Dominic? What is really your problem? Do you have to involve him in this? Is he not already involved? Are you not carrying his child? You are my fiancé, but you are carrying another man's child. So, I would like to see who he is. Please calm down, Dominic. Let's forget about everything that has happened. I'll get rid of this child before the week runs out. If you try such a barbaric act, then never you in your life step your foot in this house again. What do you really want? I want to get rid of it so that peace will reign. Don't you dare involve that innocent child in your scandal. 
I will see the guy and have a little discussion with him. I promise I won't make any trouble. Okay then, no problem. Since you insist on seeing him today, you can go ahead. While I'm gone, I would like you to go back to your house. Alright dear, take care of yourself. Good day to you. Good day to you too. Who are you and how may I help you? My name is Dominic. Are you Henry, the owner of this apartment? Yes, I am Henry. So you are the Dominic that came the other day. You had the iPhone tree to drop a message with my neighbor. Is that having an iPhone tree? If that's an iPhone tree, I wonder what we call sleeping with an already engaged woman. If you came here to me for trouble, then you better take your leave because I will not hesitate to get you behind bars for trespassing. I'm not here for trouble. I have realized that Rita is not worth fighting for. Aren't you going to offer me a seat? You can sit if you want to. So Mr. Henry, I would like to know what your relationship with Rita is, cause I am sure it wasn't a one-time thing. Is she aware you are here? She gave me the address of your house. Rita is my ex-fiance. We were engaged and about to wed. We decided to go for a checkup and realized we are both heirs. And you know what that means. She will definitely give birth to a sick baby. Oh really? So you are the guy that called off the wedding? She said something like that to me when we started dating. Although I loved her, but I had to call off the wedding instead of bringing innocent children to this world to suffer. This is interesting. You called off the wedding because you were scared of the kind of children she would give birth to, but you ended up impregnating her out of wedlock. Do you think I'm stupid, Mr. Dominic? I have never been careful like when I was with Rita that night. I didn't let the five minutes enjoyment get to my brain. I knew what the consequences would be, so I made sure to take precautions. What are you trying to see? You're not the father of the child? I am not the father of the child she's carrying. In fact, we both went to the hospital to do a DNA test and the result will be out very soon. This is getting more interesting. I would like to see the results when it comes out. No problem about that. Only where are you going to all dressed up? I'm going to the office. You know I haven't been there since morning, so I have to go and see what is happening there. Honey, are you sure? How do you mean? I overheard you and Felix talking about trying to prove something, and you both agreed it would be in your office. What do you want to prove? You know it is wrong to eavesdrop on someone. I'm sorry about that, but I couldn't help but wait and listen to your conversation. Who were you both talking about? I finally told him about Annabelle and what transpired between us. I thought we agreed not to bring back the past. I couldn't leave him in the dark anymore. I had to do something. I had to tell him. Yet, he didn't believe me. So he wants proof. So, what do you want to do now? He wants me to lure Annabelle to my office so we could converse and he would listen to our conversation. Okay then. Please, you both should come back before dinner time. Okay. I am wondering why you called me to come over here again. I thought we came to an agreement last time. We came to an agreement, but you didn't keep to your word. Why did you tell Felix about it? Don't tell me he confronted you. Of course he did. We agreed you should let him go while I pay you. I paid you, but you didn't keep to your own end of the agreement. You can't blame me, Lawrence. I love Felix and I want to be with him. You once loved me. How is it possible for you to be with father and son? What we had ended months ago. I only loved you because of your money. And if that stupid wife of yours will not let me marry Felix, then I will tell Felix about us. And who will lose? Felix loves me so much. He will despise you for hurting his mother and cheating on her. <laughs> I wish you knew what you were doing. I know what I am doing, Mr. Lawrence. And for your information, I need more money to keep my mouth shut. Alright, no problem. I will give you money. I will send some money to your account before you get home. You better do. This is the most ridiculous relationship I have ever been. So all this while Rita was sleeping with other men. She was not just having an affair with her ex. She was also sleeping with other men. I was such a fool trying to trust her. My last relationship taught me a bitter lesson. Yet I refused to learn and fell into Rita's trap. Hmm, truly, we should fear women. I must know who is responsible for that pregnancy. Even though I will not marry her, I will make sure she keeps that baby. But how come she is adamant about her ex being the father and the ex on the other hand is denying it? Well, the DNA test will reveal the result. Cause I'm finally getting real sleep. Love watching all the color rush back into my cheeks. I know what it means to be happy now. I'm 
Are you okay? You look moody. I don't know what to feel, Bella. I just received a text from Henry that Dominic visited him. I thought I told you to find a way to convince Dominic not to go and see Henry. Was there any need for that? I don't know. I tried talking to him, but he insisted on going there, so I left him alone. I don't even know what they discussed. Definitely, Henry will still deny that he is not the father of the child. That is his business, and I'll keep saying that he's the father. What about the DNA test result? Have you both been able to get it from the doctor? Oh shit, that's true. I totally forgot about it. Try, Henry might use it to defend himself. Maybe I should meet the doctor. Is there any need for that? The doctor will still give the right results after all. Chai, I never thought about this. You should find a way to be the first person to collect the results once it's out. I will see the doctor as soon as possible. Now that you have heard the recording, what next? I told you but you refused to believe me. Do you know what baffles me the most? The fact that she denied never meeting you in the past. Of course, you don't expect her to start telling you all about what happened. But that is the right thing to do. If truly she loves me like she claims, she would have told me the truth the most. She found out you were my father. It is a pity that she didn't. One thing I know is that Annabelle is not a bad person because she never treated me badly even for once. I don't think I'll be able to marry her anymore. You don't have to. I cannot marry a woman that had an affair with my father. Whether in the past or present, I will never be able to get that idea off my head. Don't worry son, you will find someone better. Your mother will never forget what happened, especially when she moves in with us. And they will never get along. It's okay dad, but I'm angry with you for telling me this now. You should have told me about it earlier than now. It is not too late, is it? It is not late. I'll see her tomorrow. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned I thought it could be. Hi, Henry. Rita, what are you doing in my house again? I thought I made it clear to you to stay away from me. Why are you so hot tempered? Can't I visit you anymore? I don't want you to visit me anymore because at the end of the day, you will talk about that child you are carrying. You shouldn't be scared of it now. Children are a gift from God. You should be happy you'll be a father soon. I would have been happy if the baby was mine. Stop bothering my life, please. I didn't commit a crime to love you. You sent a message that Dominic came visiting. Do you mind telling me what you both discussed? I cannot do that. It was a man-to-man -man discussion. You cannot be involved. If I cannot be involved, why then did you send the message to me? Because I thought it's your guy to know, since you are his fiance. Then I am telling you to tell me everything you both discussed, since he is my fiance. Rita, please go home. He might come back. And it won't be funny if he sees you here. Are you now scared of him? Besides, did he say he will come back? I don't know. Just leave me in peace, please. Let me get a glass of water. But that would be untrue. I know I'm being kind of mean, but I learned all that from you. Don't wanna go back and forth when I know I deserve much more. My love, I got here before you. Good evening to you. Good evening, dear. When you called me, I was in the supermarket shopping for things we needed in the house. Okay. You told me you were close by. I ended up getting here before you. I was still in the house when I called you. What is it? You look moody. Are you sure you are okay? Or you need a little massage from me? I want to ask you a question, Annabelle. And please be very sincere with me. I will not take it if you lie to me. No problem, dear. After all, I have never lied to you. Apart from the day I took you to my parents, were you ever involved with my dad in the past? Can't you talk anymore? I asked you a question. What kind of relationship did you have with my dad? Why are you asking me that question all of a sudden? What is the problem, my love? Answer the question and answer it sincerely. I can see your parents already told you about it. I want to hear it from your mouth. Were you in a relationship with my dad to the point of planning marriage with him? Yes. This is the end of the road for us. I can never be with a woman that was in a sexual relationship with my dad. Felix, Felix, please come back. Let's talk. I gotta tell you it's better than I ever thought it could be. I could say I miss you. Where is Felix? I haven't seen him ever since I came back from work. He's in his room. He went straight to his room the moment he came back from wherever he went to. 
Did you try checking up on him? Yes, I did. I knocked on his door several times, but he refused to open up. I think there is something wrong. It should be because of Annabelle. He told me he was going to confront her in her house. Oh, okay. Now I see why he's acting that way. Let's give him a little space. When he's ready to talk, he'll come out from his room. I can't help but worry about him. I wish it was an entirely different girl. I wouldn't have hesitated to welcome her into this family. I know, my dear. You are not a wicked person. This is all on me. I caused my son this pain. He is suffering now. Don't blame yourself, Lawrence. The most important thing is that you realized your mistake on time and you corrected it. I love you both so much. You haven't still told me your conversation with the guy that impregnated Rita. There's no need for that. We didn't discuss much. You only kept saying he's not the father of the child. That's all. Dominic, my guy, why can't you leave all this and move on? Why can't you let go of this Rita and whoever got her pregnant? I have something to say to the person that impregnated her. That is why I'm waiting till Henry proves he's not the father. Then she will tell me who the father is. Now wow. Obviously, she's a cheat and a deceiver. All this while, I didn't know she was seeing someone else. Not just one, but two. How do you know they are two? Who knows they might even be more than that? Now you know why I am always adamant about having sex before marriage. Who knows they might even be more than that? Let's go have some bottles of drink. It's been a while we had fun. This is a big lesson to me. I will never change my mind until I get married. I am not interested in having fun. I just want to be here. In fact, I want to be left alone. You know it's of no use. Think about it. I don't want to drink, bro. I want to be at home. Ooh, be <laughs> Those were the exact words you said to me, Lucy. My heart is shattered and I feel like crying. But you are already crying. See, my friend, you don't have to worry or cry your eyes out like this. I am sure he didn't mean it what he said. Why do I have a feeling that he meant it? You should have seen his face, Lucy. Even before asking the question, I knew there was something wrong. But you said, what were you thinking? You should have known the truth would come out one day. I didn't know it would come out though. I thought Lawrence would never tell him because it might hurt Felix. Come on, you messed up big time. When you were looking for possibly means to let him stay away from you. So obviously, they had to use the thing they knew would work out. I feel so terrible. What do you advise I do now? You know you had upper hand if you had told Felix before his parents did, but now everything is messed up. Are you sure it would have been a different thing if I had told him before then? I don't know Annabelle, but there is a possibility for that. Can you please go and beg Felix for me? I can't go there because he lives with his parents and he has refused to pick my calls. Just give me his address and I will go there. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy Love watching all the color rush back into my city. Man, this is still a very big surprise for me. You are the last person I expected to see in my house. Yeah, I am today. You are welcome. So what can I offer you? We have food and drinks in the fridge. Just tell me what you want. Oh no, don't bother yourself. I'm totally okay. How about your parents? I thought I would see them here. My dad took my mom out for shopping. They won't be back until evening. So what are you doing here? Oh, your family is such a lovely family. Your father still takes your mom out after many years of marriage. That was what I thought would be my weekly routine with Annabelle. I didn't know Desperate Self had other plans for me. Come on, Felix. You know you don't have to tag her as Desperate. All she did was love you. And trust me, she loves you genuinely. The love is not enough. In fact, generally, love is not enough. I tagged her desperate because she was desperate to be with a married man that already has a child just because of money. She did know he is your father. If she had knew or if she had known, I'm sure she would have stayed away from you earlier. And when she found out that he's my father, why did she still deny knowing them? Come on, Felix. She was just scared of losing you, that's all. You can't blame her for it. I know she is your friend, but you don't have to turn blind eye to the truth. See, Lucy, I am not interested in Annabelle anymore. Tell her to stay away from me. Maybe this is the right time for me to tell him how I feel now. No, this is not a good idea. He will see me as a desperate person too. Lucy, are you still here? Oh yes, I am. What did you say? I said you have to go now. And please inform her to stay away from me. I am no longer interested in marrying her. Alright, no problem.
Hey girl, I came back pretty fast, right? Yes now. Why are you back so fast? You didn't see him at home or what? He was at home and we got to talk, only that he discarded me before I could convince his father. Don't tell me you couldn't get him to change his mind. I couldn't. He is very adamant about his decision. He told me to tell you that there is nothing in this world that will make him to forgive you. Wow, he said that to me? Yes, so you should have seen the way he reacted. He was very angry when he knew I was dead on your behalf. So what else would you be there if not because of me? I don't know for him or maybe he thought I was there to check on him or probably stay with him very well. As what? Don't tell me Felix has eyes on you. I didn't say it was eyes on you. He wasn't just expecting me to be there to talk about you. And secondly, his parents were very lucky when they saw me. That Felix is playing with fire. He doesn't know who I am. No one has ever rejected me before. Well, there's always a first time to everything. I will not let him be the first. He should better forgive me or he will live to regret it. You know, in the long run, I have actually come to like your kind of person. You are not what I thought you are. What kind of person did you think I was? A pompous and proud person, especially when you came to see my neighbor. <laughs> Sorry about that. I knew that would piss anyone off, so I decided to do what would piss you off. It's okay. I'm not angry anymore. So the doctor called to tell me that Rita was there to get the results yesterday. Really? Yes. Before the doctor carried on with the DNA test, I specifically told him not to give anyone the results unless I was there. Not even Rita was allowed to have access to that result. That's good. But why would she want to get the result when she's very sure she knows what she said about you? I don't know what she's trying to do, bro. And I don't know what she is hiding. So is the result ready now? I got it from the doctor a few hours ago. I sit on my ground that I am not responsible for her pregnancy. The test result is my proof. Can I see it? It is in my room. Let me get it. Heavy. Cause I'm finally getting real sleep. I love watching all the color rush back into my cheek. I don't even know why I'm shocked. Right from the time I had a hunch that Henry was saying the truth. Maybe you are shocked because you were secretly hoping Henry was the only man Rita had an affair with. I think so. Now it is evident she had an affair with more than one or even more than two men. So what do you intend to do now? Will you ask her about it? I will ask her about it. I will threaten her and make her tell me who is responsible for that pregnancy. It is even necessary. What will you do when you find out who the father is? Just allow the sleeping dog lie. I will not allow any sleeping dog to lie. Rita and I were engaged to be married. So I have every right to know who she's pregnant for. I just feel all this is not necessary. She is not worth all this stress at all. What is really your problem? Why are you so against me finding out who the father is? I am not against you. I am just worried you might get hot again. I am already hot. My heart has been shattered already. So there's no need taking precaution anymore. Okay, do whatever you want. So you are here, Felix. What are you doing here? Didn't I tell you to stay away from me? Why are you a pain on my neck? How many of my missed calls have you seen on your phone? Why are you being so childish, Felix? I'm being childish. Alright, no problem. Allow me to be in peace with my childishness. I have tried every possible way to fix things with you, but you keep pushing me away. You don't reply to my messages. You don't answer my calls. Is it by force? I can remember vividly the last time we spoke. I told you to stay away from me. Our relationship has no destination. Why? Because your parents said so? Because I said so. We are not meant to be. What if my dad went ahead to marry you? You would have shamelessly become a second wife to an already married man. But it didn't happen. Your dad and I ended things a long time ago. So why didn't you tell me about it when you found out? Why did you pretend like they hated you for no reason? You even lied that they mistook you for someone else. So that is the reason you don't want to push through with the marriage anymore? I already gave you my reasons. I cannot marry you, Annabelle. It is over between us. I will not take no for an answer. You laid me on. You made me fall in love with you. And now you just want to walk away? You also made me fall in love with you. And you deceived me. We can fix this. There is nothing to fix. I am done with you. Now my mornings ain't heavy. 
Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush back into my cheeks I know what it means to be happy You delayed again I thought you told me you weren't busy when I called So what kept you? I'm sorry about that I had to go somewhere first before coming here So you said there's trouble Well, I just wanted to lure you to come see me You know I have missed you so much Really? Oh. This is the best thing you've said to me in a long while. You've become cold and distant from me. Sorry if I treated you badly. I don't know what came over me. Maybe I was just jealous that you had an affair with someone else. I already apologized to you, my love. It was a mistake on my own part. And I deeply regret it. It's okay, dear. I'm not angry with you anymore. Are you sure? Yes, my love. We have to continue our wedding plans. Make sure you contact the wedding planner when I say so. For now, I have to make more money so we can have a big wedding. I don't think I need something big anymore. What I want right now is to be with you. We can go ahead with the court wedding. Are you sure that is what you want? Yes, dear. All right then. We will have a court wedding. At least I forget. Henry showed me the DNA test results and it proved that he is not the father of your child. I... I... You don't have to stammer, my love. I am already aware that he is not the one responsible. You know I love you and nothing can stop me from loving you. I am sorry for disappointing you this way. Come on, dear. You don't have to apologize for anything. All I want you to do now is to take me to the main father of your child so we can settle things there. Then we get married next week. Are you sure you will not be angry with me? Are you sure you will not dump me afterward? Am I mad? You have no idea how much I love you. Take me there and we will get married. Alright then, let's go. Guy, how far now? I did. You didn't tell me you'll be coming to see me today. My fiancée and I wants to go somewhere, but she decided we should come here first. Maybe she wants you to come with us. Come with you to where? She finally told me the truth that Henry is not the father, so she is here to take us to the main father of the child. Um, Dominic, you already know Richard, so no need for the introduction. He's the father of my child. What? <laughs> this is such a funny joke. Take us to the father of your child, Joe. Rita, what are you doing? Stop this, please. Dominic, I know this is a shock to you, but that is the truth. Richard is the father of my child. Chai God, Rita, you have ruined me. Do you realize what you have just done? I couldn't keep it from him anymore. He deserves to know the truth, Richard. I'm tired of this whole thing. You are tired of what? Are you not the curse of all this? I warned you about this, didn't I? And why did you agree to it? You have no right to blame me for anything because this is on you. What kind of problem is this? You just destroyed my friendship with Dominic. I told you to get rid of this child, but you refused. Dominic, you declared to me that if I get rid of that child, I should never step my foot in his house. And that is what I am scared of. What should I do now? All you have to do now is to go to his house and tell him the truth. Beg for his forgiveness. I am sure he will forgive you. The gods of him yelling at me and telling me to stay away from him. That guy has the balls. Calm down, Annabelle. This your anger will not get you anywhere. It will only make you make decisions you will later regret. I don't care. I hate it when I am insulted just because of love. If you try to investigate more, you will realize we are in the same age range. You don't have to be paranoid about it. These things happen sometimes. Did he just say paranoid? That guy humiliated me in his house and walked out on me. And everything you told me that happened. I can't really spot out the insult or maybe I didn't hear all you narrated. Maybe you have ear problems, else you would have heard when I said he walked out on me. That's not enough reason for you to be angry this way. Maybe he was only looking for a way to discard you. And can you tell me why you are supporting that guy? I thought friends always have each other's backs. Sorry about that. So what do you intend doing now? I want to teach him a lesson he will never forget. Um, before you teach him a lesson, can you please talk to his father again? Maybe he can help you talk to Felix because I'm sure you still love him. Are you sure that will work? Yes, dear. Before you take any decision, talk to his father first. If there is no other way, then I will support you in what you want to do. Okay. All the color rush back into my cheeks. I know what it means to be happy now. I jumped off your marriage. 
Good morning, sir. Good morning to you too. How may I help you, Annabelle? Can you at least offer me a seat, sir? The seat is right there. You can go ahead and sit if you want to. Thank you, sir. So how are you doing? And how is work going? Stop beating about the bush, Annabelle. And this one you are calling me, sir. I know you are definitely here for something. I can remember when you told me to quit calling you by your name since we are no longer together. That's right. What do you want? Sir, your son is hurting my feelings. I have never loved a man the way I love your son. But he's adamant in ending the relationship with me. And you know the reasons. Felix is no longer interested in you. Why can't you move on and allow the poor boy to get some rest? I cannot allow him to be. I have begged him many times, but he wouldn't give me a listening ear. There are many men out there, Annabelle. Leave Felix alone. Please help me talk to him. I promise I will never come between anyone in your family. He is no longer interested, and I will never advise him to marry you. So move on with your life. I told him everything already. But I don't know if I did the right thing. Yes, dear. You did the right thing. If you truly love him like you claim, then he deserves to know the truth. I am scared, Bella. I don't know what the outcome of this my mistake will be. I don't know if I still stand a chance with Dominic. You, if he calls it quit with you, I won't really blame him. You betrayed him with his best friend. <laughs> this is what hurts the most. I didn't intend for all of this to happen. I thought maybe Dominic could agree to sleep with me after getting pregnant for Richard. There is no need to blame yourself, my dear. The deed has been done already. You have to go back to him and beg for forgiveness. I already told Richard to go there first. I definitely need to apologize to him. It would have been a different thing if it was someone else, but you chose his friend of all people. Now my mornings ain't heavy. You this betrayer. What the hell are you doing in my house? Why are you here? Dominic, I know you hate me right now. And you probably don't want to see me again. But please, listen to what I have to say first. You have nothing to say to me. You are nothing but a backstabber of a friend. I regret ever knowing you, Richard. I deserve whatever name you call me. But please, listen to me. Let me explain to you how it all began. I trusted you. I gave you my full trust. Never in my life would I think you would betray me this way. Dominic, please calm down and listen to me. I am giving you five minutes to explain how and why you had to do this to me. It all began when Rita came to me. She explained to me how much she loves you, but you were reluctant to marry her. So she needed to do something to make you marry her as soon as possible. And getting pregnant was the only thing on her mind. This is unbelievable. She came to me and begged me to sleep with her. She promised me it was going to be just once. At first, I was reluctant. But then the idea of sharing same woman with you came into my mind. So I agreed. I was very surprised for you to see your text message and location. What happened to the hard guy you were trying to prove? You should wait to hear from me first. What if I'm not there to accept your advances? I am irresistible, Richard. I am beautiful, so I know it will be hard for you to resist me. I am a bit scared, Rita. Dominic is my very good friend. We have been friends for a very long time. I have never betrayed him before. What do you really think is the meaning of betrayer? I won't betray anybody. You only help him settle down fast. Even if I agree to do this, it will just be once. Yes now, and it will be just once. And I don't get pregnant after then, I will give up. So what if you get pregnant? What will happen? How will you go about it? Like I said before, I am beautiful so it will be hard for Dominic to resist me too. When I realize I am pregnant, I will persuade him to sleep with me. And when that happens, I will pin the pregnancy on him. I am scared that this might bust out one day. Who will know about it? This is between the both of us. No one will ever find out. I'm very sorry. I'm very scared, Richard. The pressure is much on me. And everybody already knows that I'm pregnant. Chai, God, what did we do now? This is what I was trying to tell you when you brought this idea. I told you things might get out of hand one day. How was I supposed to know it to be like this? How was I supposed to know Dominic would refuse sleeping with me before marriage? We have to find a way for this. You have to abort this child. Yes, that is the only thing on my mind now. But I already accused someone else of being responsible. Who could that be? My ex fiance. So you were also having an affair with your ex? You cheated on Dominic? How could you be so loose? Don't you dare call me names. What about you that betrayed your friend? You couldn't say no to me even when you knew I'll be married to your friend. Since you already accused your ex, then you have to stand by your word. 
let him take responsibility for it you know i actually forgot about you i forgot that we had a one night stand it was my friend bella that kept asking if i was sure harry was the one person i had an affair with i wish she have not asked you i will try my best to keep convincing dominic to let go of the situation and move on with his life let go of the situation how what if he decides to let me go don't worry i'll talk to him when he brings up that topic all right then Oh wow, now I see where all those advices came from, especially when I told you I must know who the father is. I don't deserve you Dominic, you have been nothing but a good friend to me, I am sorry for what I did. And what do you think your sorry would do for me? I was already hurt when I found out that Rita is pregnant from that man, but finding out that my best friend is responsible for that pregnancy is under heartbreak, so it's okay. I messed up big time. It would have been a different case if it was someone else. I would have been less broken. You have taught me a lesson, Richard. Please, what can I do to amend the situation? Whatever you want me to do, I will do it, as long as we remain friends. You are so funny. After betraying me in such a way, you are still hoping of being my friend. Let not a woman be the reason for our separation. You should have thought about that when you decided to be with the woman I wanted to marry. Please forgive me, bro. I will do whatever you want me to do. Please, give me another chance. Are you willing to do what I want you to do? I will do anything, as long as you forgive me. Good. I want to take Rita in. Take good care of her and the child until she gives birth. You can decide to marry her or let her go after then. I went to see Felix's father and he gave me the humiliation of my life. He doesn't know who he's messing with. What did you say? He didn't agree to talk to his son on your behalf. They take me for a fool. I am not one of those girls that takes rejection lightly. I must fight back. Hmm. Now wow. Why would his father behave that way now? Shabi, I told you I will support you in whatever you want to do. I have something in mind to do. Something that would teach all of them a lesson. Do you mind sharing with me? Felix is their only child. If I take Felix away from them, it will be the most painful thing ever. How do you want to take Felix away from them? Do you want to kill him? That is the only way to pay them back. The only way to make them feel the pain I am feeling now. I thought you said you love Felix. Yes, I love him. But as it stands now, I don't think I will ever be given a chance in his life. So, it is better to cut him short. You are my friend, so I will always support you. Really? Wow. I never really thought about it. If we have someone for the job, then there is no need to delay. Inform him of our plan, then get back to me. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush so Felix, you said you have something to discuss with me. What is the problem? Where is mom? I want her to be here as well. Your mom is still sleeping. Don't worry, whatever we discuss here, I will inform her. Okay. Um, I want to tell you that I will be going back to the States next week. I have no reason to stay here anymore. When did you make up your mind? I thought about it yesterday. So I came to a conclusion that it is better I go back to the States than stay here. You just said you have no reason to be here. Have you forgotten you came here to take over my company? Don't tell me this decision is because of Annabelle. Dad, you have no idea how terrible I feel. It will be better if I go back to where I came from. I'll come back when everything is okay with me. You don't have to allow what happened to get to you. You are not the first to be heartbroken. And who knows, you might find someone better here. It is easy for you to say that. I no longer have peace in Nigeria. I just want to leave for a while. I will return before the year runs out. It seems you have made up your mind already. Yes, I have made up my mind. Okay, but please, can you stay with you next month? You know your mom's birthday is next month. I want to hold a big celebration for her. So I want you to be there. Alright then, next month it is. My love, I've been trying to call your phone, but your two lines were not reachable. Rita, what are you doing here? You should know by now you are no longer welcome in this house. What do you mean by that? Shabi, you said I should contact the wedding planner and I did. What wedding planner? Who are you getting married to? But babe, you said we will be married soon. I found a very good wedding planner that will handle our wedding preparations well. Wake up from your dream, Rita. Do you really think I'll marry you after you had an affair with my best friend? You've got some nerves, you know. But you told me to take you to the father of my baby. You said it's not stop what you feel for me. I don't hate you, Rita. It was your decision to do what you did. So I can't judge you. What I want you to do now is to go and be with Richard. 
Maybe how could you even suggest something like that? You're the one I love. I never loved Richard. It's not about love. You have to go to him for the sake of your child. Unless you want your child to be fatherless, go to him. I am sure he will take care of you. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching all the color rush <laughs> That was how he discarded me And he even blocked my number in my presence Please don't cry This past few days has been rough for all of us Put yourself together and we will think of this After putting myself together, then what next? What will I do with this pregnancy now? Shibi, you said Dominic advised you to go to Richard Don't tell me you're supporting that idea you and I know I have no feelings for Richard. I don't love him at all. I did what I did for Dominic and I. No, you did what you did for your own selfish interest. Stop making me feel bad, Bella. I'm not the worst sinner on earth. So many people have done worse than that. In as much as I love you as my friend and sister, I will also condemn your act. You are among the worst sinners on earth. What you did is high level of betrayal. If you of all people can say this to me, what do you want me to do in my life? Maybe it would be better if I end it all. Come on, you don't have to. I am really sorry about that. I just had to tell you the truth. Whatever action Dominic takes, do not blame him. Because I would have done the same if I were in his shoes. So what should I do now? Get ready, you will be going to Richard's house now. Where have you been since morning? I thought you went to work, but obviously you didn't go to work. I have someone that can do a clean job for you. Shebi, you gave me an assignment, so I went to look for a hitman that will carry out your plan. You went to look for one? I thought you said you already have one. Yes, but it travels, so I had to look for someone else. She don't have anything to worry. The ball is in your court now. Wait, though, let me ask you. What kind of relationship do you have with a hitman? You know I used to take you as a saint. You are the least person I thought would know a hitman. See this girl, what do you really take me for? Or um, I am not as holy as you think. It is better to have a hitman's phone number in case of necessity. Can you tell me how you got to know him? Doesn't matter. Anna, but what matter is that the hitman is at your back and call. Okay then, so how can I meet him? I will give you his phone number. He wants you both to meet tomorrow, so you will explain the job better to him. Alright then, I will call him. It is nice to finally meet you. Lucy said a lot of things about you. She said a lot of things about me. Things like what? Well, she was only bragging at how good you are at what you do. She believes in you a lot and that is why I chose you. That is nice to hear. She knows how good I am when it comes to handling a client's job. I trust her and I trust her judgment. So if she says you are good, then you are good. I will give you the job, but don't disappoint me. I will not disappoint you. Give me his information and be rest assured everything will go on smoothly. But please, when going ahead with it, make sure you don't leave any traces. If you are caught, that means I will be in trouble too. I have never left any traces in all the jobs I have done. I have been in this field for more than 10 years now, so leave everything for me. How much are we talking about here? 1 million naira. 1 million naira? How about now? That is too much. How can I give you 1 million naira just to kill someone? If you think it is that easy, then you can go do it yourself. It has not gotten to that now. You said you need a clean job, right? So that is the amount for it. There will be traces. You will hear a song of victory before the week runs out. Hmm. Okay then, I will transfer 1 million naira to you. I will not ask you again, Rita. What are you doing in my house with your luggage of clothes? What does it look like? Does this pregnancy look like a joke to you? I am here to stay. I'm sorry, but you cannot stay here. You are very funny. You are still thinking of Dominic after what happened. What makes you think Dominic will ever come to your house again? What will I tell Dominic if he sees you here? I don't care what you think, but I'm sure I will amend my friendship with Dominic. Good luck. Just so you know, Dominic advised and persuaded me to come stay in your house since I am pregnant for you. You cannot stay here, Rita. We are not yet married, so we can't live together. You should have thought about that when we were on your bed. Help me bring my luggages inside. Cause I'm finally getting real sleep. Love. So where are you able to see the hitman? 
Yes, so we met and we talked about what I want him to do. He agreed and I paid him. Trust me, Annabelle, you will not regret hiring that guy. He's good at what he does. He will give you a clean job. Lucy, how do you know? You this girl. I am suspecting you. How do you know he is good at what he does? That is not necessary. What is necessary is what we have at hand. Don't worry. Lawrence will be in tears very soon. That's right. But I am not happy. He charged too much than I expected. How much did you charge you? A whole one million naira. Even though I have more than that, I am still sad I have to part with such a huge amount. Don't be stingy, Anna, but that job is worth the amount. It is not easy to kill without leaving a trace. Well, I will not feel it anymore when I see that his mother is in tears. They all think they can mess with me and go scot-free. Don't mind them. They're everyone is a weakling. You will show them that all women are not the same. Let's go out and have some fun while we await the good news that will come to us. Okay, let me get my purse. I've been calling you since now. Is it always hard for you to answer me? Rita, please, I am begging you in the name of God. If you are awake, can you do me a favor of going back to your room? I need some time alone. You cannot have some time alone when you are living with someone. Ever since I came to this house, we have been avoiding each other and pretending like we don't exist in each other's world. It is better that way. It is better to avoid you than to get into an argument again with you. So what are you trying to say? Are you trying to call me a nagging woman? I just heard it from your mouth now. Please let me be. Allowing you to stay in this house is enough burden. You are calling me a burden, Abby? Yes, you are a burden to me, Rita. You are not working and you have no savings. Ever since you came into this house, I have been the one feeding you and you eat a lot. Why won't I eat a lot? Do you know what it means to be pregnant? Don't you know I'm eating for two? I will soon leave this house for you. Well, I came out to tell you I'm craving for shawarma and ice cream. You are craving for shawarma and ice cream, yet you don't have money. That is what I feel like eating. Please try and get it for me. I'll be in my room. Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy. Love watching all What took you so long to get here? You kept me standing for so long. Sorry about that. I was with Annabelle. She wanted to know the progress of the job she gave me. So what did you tell her when she asked you? I told her I was on it. I also explained to her that it wasn't easy to do something like that in such a short period of time. Very good. I knew you were the perfect person for this job. Well done, bro. I am impressed. Thank you. Least I forget, she transferred 1 million naira into my account when we first met. Where is my own share of the money? I would be able to withdraw 500,000 naira now. I will give you a check tomorrow. Who is talking about check here? Please run and transfer me 500,000 to my account, Joe. I'm not with my phone now. I will see you later this evening. I will also do the transfer when I see you again. That's good. One more thing. What about the recording? I hope you record everything the both of you discussed. Yes, I did. Everything is in my phone. I will show you everything when we meet this evening. Alright, thank you very much. Cause I'm finally getting... What brings you to my house, Richard? Did you really tell your gate man not to open the gate for me anymore? Yes, I did. I instructed him not to open the gate for you and Rita. Be thankful I came out to see you outside, else I would have returned you home by force. But why? I thought we were friends. Do you really want to throw away many years of friendship because of a woman? Did you just say because of a woman? <laughs> you have no idea how that statement sounds to me. I am cutting ties with you because of the betrayal. Is this still the same thing? Dominic, please. Think about this. Please forgive me. I promise to be a loyal friend. I hold nothing against you. In fact, I have forgiven you. But I'm sorry, Richard. I can't let you into my life anymore. What about Rita? Can you please take her back? Just few days she has stayed with me. I already feel like I will lose my mind soon. The both of you have nerves. Well, it is my fault that I haven't set boundaries yet. But you see from today, don't you ever step your foot in my house again. I am serious, Dominic. Rita is jobless and she has so many cravings. I have spent so much already. You asked for it, so deal with it. We are not in good terms. She is annoying. One day, I will run away from that house. Welcome, Richard. What did you cook for lunch? I am very hungry. Lunch? I'm so sorry, dear. I didn't know you'd eat lunch today. I did not cook anything. Why not? I'm still tired and weak till now, so I didn't cook anything. You can eat out if you want. So, what did you do with the money I gave you to go to the market? Don't tell me you used it. I used it. 
I seriously didn't know you would request for lunch when you return. You know you don't stay long in a house. What is all this, Rita? I gave you money to go to the market so you could buy what we'll eat this afternoon and night. Now you are telling me you use the money. Are you trying to raise your voice at me? I just told you I used the money. You can eat in one of those famous eateries. What did you use the money for? I used it for shawarma and ice cream. I craved for those just this afternoon immediately you left. I thought I bought shawarma and ice cream for you this morning. I craved for it again. I'm sorry dear. I'm tired. I want to lie down. What kind of problem have I gotten myself into? Good evening, ma. Good evening to you too, my dear. Are you here to see someone? Yes, ma. I'm here to see Felix. Please, is he home? That is my son. Who are you to him? His girlfriend or you both are just friends? We are just friends, ma. I'm here because I have a very important thing to tell him. It involves his life. His life? Please, have a seat. Felix is not at home at the moment. Do you mind telling me about it? I'm sure you are very well familiar with Annabelle, the girl Felix wanted to marry. Yes, I know her. What is wrong with her? She's after your son's life. What? Annabelle is after my son's life? How? Who are you and how did you find out? She's a very close friend of mine and we stay in the same apartment. Why does she want to kill my son? Who does he do to her? Why does she want to take the only thing I cherish in this life? Please calm down. This is not the time to cry. Don't worry yourself. Everything has been sorted out already. I just thought it was why to let Felix know. Thank you so much, my dear. But do you have any evidence of what you are saying? Let me play the recording of her talking with the hitman. Now my mornings ain't heavy. Cause I'm falling. Oh, Felix, thank God you are home. Please come and sit down. There is fire on the mountain. Mom, what is the problem? I saw your message asking me to come home. I'm here now. What is the problem? A certain girl named Lucy came visiting earlier today. Lucy? What does she want again? Why can't they allow me to rest for once? Sometimes I wonder if this relationship is by force. She did not come to ask for a relationship. She came to tell you something very shocking about the woman you wanted to marry. And what about her? That Annabelle of a girl is after your life. She wants to kill you because you rejected her. So that was what Lucy came to tell you and you believed her? Mom, I don't believe such lie. Even though Annabelle was with dad in the past, I know for a fact that she's not a bad person. Listen to me, my son. That girl is not the kind of person you think she is. She's a killer and she wants to kill. She's a woman. How does she want to kill me? It will be better if you speak with Lucy directly so you can hear everything from her mouth. Okay then, the problem is that I don't have Lucy's number. I got her number before she left. I knew you would doubt me, so I got her number in case of necessity. She also played a recording to me. What you will hear will shock you. A recording? Maybe you are doubting me. Don't worry, it will shock you. Let me get my phone so I can call her to come over. Ah uh ah, -uh. where could this guy be since morning? Ever since I woke up in the morning, I haven't seen him. Now that I'm done cooking, he will not come and eat. Later, he will complain I don't cook at home. I think it's better I go and call him in his room. Yeah, that's better. No, 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 no. This can't be happening. His room is empty as if no one stayed here. Where could he go to? Where are his clothes and other properties? Let me call him. Hello, Richard. Rita, what is your problem? I just finished making breakfast. I went to your room to call you. I realized that almost all your properties, especially clothes, are missing. Of course. My things are missing in my house. Then you should mind your business. I should mind my business? How? We live here together. So something is wrong here. I have to be involved. Well, I guess it's your business now since you will stay there all alone from now on. My rent will expire soon. Do well to renew it. What are you talking about? I don't understand you. What I am saying is that I will no longer be coming back there. If I come back, I will only come to get my things. What is going on here? Don't tell me you are running away. If that is how you want to take it, then so be it. I am tired of all this, Rita. I never asked for any of this. You caused all the problems that is happening now. Richard, please don't go. How do you expect me to manage with this child? I am sorry, Rita. This is not what I want for myself. Have a nice day. Hello? Hello, Richard. Richard, please don't go. Rita, please stop crying. This is not the end of the world. How can you tell me to stop crying? 
<laughs> when my life has ended up to be like this. I have lost everything. No, dear. You haven't lost everything. You still have me and you have your child. <laughs> this child has brought me nothing but sorrow. How I wish I can turn back the hands of time. If wishes were horses, beggars would ride. You don't have to blame the innocent child for your mistakes. You made the mistakes and not your child. What should I do now, Bella? Henry left me. Dominic left me. And now Richard left me as well. Am I cursed? You are not cursed, my love. Henry made the right decision by leaving you. And you know why? He didn't leave you because he didn't love you. In fact, he was still in love with you when he called off the wedding. So don't blame yourself too much, dear. Then how about Dominic? Did he also make a right decision by leaving me? If you were in Dominic's shoes, you would have done the same thing. But you don't have to kill yourself about it. The deed has been done already. Richard left me with this child to suffer alone. I am here for you. You can bring back your things and live here with me. Thank you so much, Bella. I don't know what I would have done without you. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy Thank you for coming. Even though I invited you here in such a short notice. You don't have to thank me. You know I will do anything, especially when it comes to you. Thank you once again. So my mom told you so many things you said about Annabelle. Those things you said, are they true? Yes, everything she told you is true. I wouldn't have fabricated such lies against her. Everything is true. So why are you helping me? Because I want you and you are a nice person and you have never been bad to me. I cannot sit back and watch her harm you. Can you tell me how it happened and how you got to know about her plan? She told me about it personally. I requested I should help her find the hitman to kill you. I decided to contact one of my cousins that lives outside the city to come play as a hitman. Interesting. I told him everything he needed to say to her. He pretended like he's a hitman and charged her the sum of one million naira in exchange to kill you. Hmm, Annabelle, I never knew she is capable of hurting a fly. I already played the recording to you, mommy. If you need the recording as evidence, I can give it to you. Yes, I need the evidence because I'll be going to the police station now. Now my mornings ain't heavy Cause I'm finally getting real sleepy I love watching See who is at home today, the almighty Annabelle. What are you doing here, Felix? I thought you made it clear we will never see each other again. Well, I am so sorry to break that rule. I came to see you earlier this morning, but I was told you went out. Welcome back from where you went to. You haven't still told me what you are doing here with this policeman. Why not guess it yourself, my love? Maybe I want us to have our wedding today with the policeman being our witness. I was very busy inside. If you don't mind, I would like to go back to what I was doing. You were busy inside. Am I having problems or what? I thought I saw you sitting comfortably here a few minutes ago. I am losing my patience. What are you doing here with the policeman? Are you scared? Don't tell me you are scared. If your hands are clean and you are sure you haven't done anything wrong, then you don't have to be scared. I am not scared. Okay then, since you are not scared, officer, I will leave her to you now. Miss Annabelle, you are under arrest for the attempt murder of Mr. Felix Lawrence. Me? Attempted murder? God forbid. My love, you know me now. You know I am not capable of killing anyone. You will explain better when you get to the station. Officer, please take her away. Miss Annabelle, to avoid pushing and dragging you to the station, with the little pride you still have, majestically walk into the car waiting outside. Annabelle, my friend, you betrayer. How dare you show your face here? I am not a betrayer. I only did what I knew was best for everyone. Did you really think I would let you kill an innocent soul for your selfish interest? Yes, it was for my selfish interest. But you agreed to get a hitman for me. You shouldn't have involved yourself if you didn't want to do it. If I didn't involve myself, how would I have saved Felix? I know I did the right thing and didn't betray you. 
I am so disappointed in you, Lucy. You should be more disappointed in yourself, Annabelle. Felix wants to charge you to court, so you should worry about that and not me. He wants to charge me to court? No, he can't do that. You know I will not win the case if he wants to. Oh, you don't know that. If I were you, I would be remorseful and repent of all my evil deeds. It is too late, Lucy. Felix has an evidence of what I did. He will use it against me in court of law. Don't worry. I will talk to him about it. I am very sure he will give me a listening ear since I saved him from what you wanted to do. Are you sure you can do that for me? Irrespective of what you did, you are still my best friend. I love you and will help you get out of here, but on one condition. I will do anything. You will never ever think of hurting or harming someone because they rejected you. I promise I will never ever think of such thing again. You're only saying this because you are desperate to go out. I will beg Felix to drop the charges and make sure you stay here for six months. What? Six months? That is a very long time. Six months is too short. I would have made it two years. But since you are my friend, I will help you out. I want you to stay here and learn your lesson. If I beg him to get you out now, you haven't learned any lesson. Chai, Lucy, please now. Don't worry. I will always bring you food for the six months you will stay here. Thank you, my dear friend. If I ever escape from this place, I will never try this again. Cause I'm finally getting real sleep. Love watching all Look at my life now. What will I teach my child? What will I tell him or her for the circumstances surrounding my pregnancy? Rita, you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be ashamed of who you have become. You should be ashamed of how your life has turned out to be. You should be ashamed of how you betrayed a man that truly loved you, all for your selfish interests. If I didn't stupidly and desperately want to get married, I wouldn't have put myself in this kind of mess. Well, I wanted to prove to Henry that I was a hot cake. That I could find someone else in a twinkle of an eye. I never knew I was destroying my own future. Now look at me. I'm about to be a single mother for my ex fiance's best friend. I guess that is what I would tell my child. I wish I had listened. I wish I had listened to my mother. When she lectured me on the dangers surrounding sex before marriage. I wouldn't have landed in this mess. This is a lesson I would teach my girl child. Sex before marriage is not just a sin. It is also destructive. I have learned my lesson in a hard way. I've been getting kind of used to living life without you. I gotta tell you, it's better than I ever thought it could be. I could say I miss you, but that would be untrue I know I'm being kinda mean, but I learned all that from you Don't wanna go back